Bundy people Don't would crash you. everybody. No, it does not. Not anymore. Oh, it doesn't? No. You've done that? We just had one that had like 130 something people in it. Easy. No lag even on mobile. That's amazing. Yeah. You don't remember the one we did the. How many weeks ago was that now, Ivory? Yeah, yeah, the guild one. I did, I did, I did the big guild one. And I told the guild they could invite all their friends, and a bunch of other people showed up, and it was, it was spun. When you dropped all those birds uh-huh. in the background, yeah, yeah, that whole thing. There was a ton of people that showed up at the beginning, and then it slowly faded off. And then once you came, more people showed up again. It was a lot. Really? Yeah, I yeah. didn't crash at all. It's either, funny when, when you you left after you left those ones out of bounds. Yeah. And the mob of people running out of bounds, just scouring the out of bounds, looking for the birds was crazy. <laughs> it was just a swarm of people. Running. <laughs> I got footage of it. I just haven't edited it out yet. But I'll wow. say it was funny. There was just a mob of people. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> okay. the word got out that you dropped birds. And they were like, oh, birds. So then more people showed up to get it? Yeah. <laughs> it, it was funny. Oh my goodness! So they they were all going out trying to look for them all and whatnot. Yep, I got in. You got in? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Ever go to me? I'm in here somewhere with a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna have to log out and get on my phone because my freaking graphics card. Oh no! Freaking on the road again. That sucks. Oh, I'm full on that. Windows keeps overriding my graphics card every time it does a update. It oh. overrides the card. Oh, Zeke. Hey, Zeke, how's it going? Uh, am I going to be spawning some birds? Yes, I am going to be spawning some birds. I just dropped one right now. This is a Rarex event, and this is something they do every year. They've been doing this for, uh, I don't know, six years? Something. <laughs> Like that. Let me drop my summon code for anybody who wants to join me. Ah, it's ironic. It's because it's on the blue server, and my summon code is blue37. So if you want to jump to this location, get some spawns, I'm going to have some birds. There's going to be lesser legions and fools gimmicks and all kinds of spawns going on. So blue37, hopefully somebody can remember that, because I sure as frig won't. Yeah, I just picked up some uh, gimmicks, too, to help out a little bit. Awesome. I was a bird. I had no alive. idea this was happening, or I'd have picked up more. <laughs> yeah, well, I actually I knew about this like two weeks ago or something, but I thought it had been announced. I guess, and it never really did. So I don't really know. Good lord, everybody just spawned everything at the same time. I should not have dropped my bird. That was a mistake. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna slay everybody. And, of course, nobody knows what to focus on. <laughs> it's one hitting us. Oh, my gosh. That was terrible. I should not have spawned it. Yeah, he's literally one hitting us. Stupid. And I can't target. Well, I can, but it's... Oh, yep, dead again. Oh, it's good take It's only a three-second spawn, so that's a good thing. But he's alting, like, every five seconds. So he's just killing everybody. Oh, that was such a mistake. Sorry. <laughs> Should not have spawned the bird right then. I don't even know which. There's so many spawns, I don't even know which one to hit. It's insane. Welcome to squad member. Whoa. Xander, welcome. Welcome to the squad. So lately when I enter summon codes, I can never get TP'd. What? Really? I had no problem. I, I just typed in a summon code to get to this location. How did I just die again? I literally died and then Spawn died. It. I don't understand how that just happened. Do these other NPCs here? Do they hit you or something? They. They don't cause no damage. Do. Do they? Is there any other NPC that causes damage? I mean, spawnable. Uh, the gift. The gift Thulu. Yeah, but not enough to kill you. Do they? Um, oh, the ship. The ship also has the side cannon thing. Oh, and that can kill you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's probably what it is then. Because I suddenly, I just died. It's like, okay, the bird can kill me, but I, I didn't think there was anything else here that could kill you. We had to move it away from the spawn, because it was literally spawn killing. There's so much. I need to change my class, too, because I'm running the wrong class. 
If you guys are haven't got in here yet and you want to get in, it is blue 37. I remembered it without checking. Ah, uh -huh. See, I'm on top of it. But that is unusual to have a selling code that doesn't work. Potential spawn die. Her rumble was like spawn die. And it's 420. <laughs> That's right. It is. It's 420. That's hilarious because just yesterday was 420, which was my mother's birthday. 420. Oh so happy 420. Happy birthday. Uh, my code, uh, just in case, uh, let me just confirm that it is what I say it is. Blue 37. So I was right. Blue 37. In your face, Eric. I mean, uh, King. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. <laughs> wow, you said I sucked at memory? Oh, depends on what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, but you're not denying it. <laughs> I so. didn't say I denied anything. Uh-huh. Confirmation <laughs> right there. Thank you very much. Okay, you know, when you get older, forget things. Yeah, well... It happens to us all. That's true, I suppose. Uh, I could use that as an excuse. I can't wait till I get Alzheimer's. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> that would every be day, awesome. Every you... day will be something new. <laughs> yeah, that would be great, actually. Wake up going, <gasps> it's a beautiful morning. It's like, it's midnight. Oh, because how would you know? You're not going to know time. And they do say, you know what they say? They say ignorance is bliss. So do you know how happy people with Alzheimer's are? Because, I mean, that's, you know, living in ignorance, basically. <laughs> and if ignorance is bliss, uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, well, they got it made in the shade. My summit code so. is blue 37. So, hike. What? Yeah. You're playing football over there with your call-outs. Uh, well, you don't watch football, huh? I do not watch football. Uh, I watch Blue hockey 42. occasionally. Blue 42. No, isn't that from Ace Ventura? Blue 42. Blue 42. Uh, yeah, then he throws the thing. That's a football <laughs> reference. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that is so funny. I love that scene. Blue 42. Two, and and then he, he tries it. to hide in a box later on. That what movie you... was rough, if you really think about it. Yeah. Movie... <laughs> How? When he... he climbed inside the animal. Oh, well, that was in the second one. <laughs> yeah, that was... It wasn't the climbing it was coming out of. That's what... That was the worst part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was... That was rather <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> Imagine the kid watching that being like, oh, look at that. They're giving birth. Um, scarred. I watched that as a kid. It was, it was, it was yep. something. Yeah. <laughs> that was definitely. Oh, Crimson Fiend Hood. I don't know if I have that one yet. Thank you very much. Oh, is that the ship or did I drop a bird? No, that must have been. Did I drop it? Oh, I did? Okay, so that's what killed me? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, Talons of Raven. Yeah. I just got the cape. There's a 5G right in my pocket. I don't know if I dumped my inventory. No, I did not. So I won't be able to grab a lot of stuff, unfortunately. Because that ship stuff there, that sells for a lot of gold. It's really nice. Any code? Yes, I do have a code. It is... Blue 37. Blue 37. On the blue server. In the Heroes Hang... No. Wait, what is this one called again? Hall of Awesome. In the Hall of Awesome. Only Ortiz. Hi, Only Ortiz. Let me check the... Uh, I gotta, I'm gotta. i just going to confirm if this is what I think it is. Uh, yes, Hall of Awesome. Uh, by the way, on mobile, did you notice that there is not a travel menu? Well, what? Yes. Since when? It's been replaced by the, um, the, the, whatchamacallit? 
by the adventures menu. Like, you know, on the uh, side, like on mobile, you know, on the side where it shows that the, the, um, I'm going to be honest here and tell you that I rarely ever play mobile. So. Yeah, me too. My <laughs> mobile. I am on mobile right now and I have a travel and adventures menu. Wait, you, you have a chat. Where, where do you see the travel? In the menu when you click the three lines. Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. But I'm talking about where where it used to be. Where it used to be. Like, you know how you'd click, like, where where now the adventure book is? So, you know how on the bottom of the screen there's those four buttons? that One's a chest, one's a bag, one's an arrow usually, and the other one is the three lines? Oh, you mean the middle of the screen? Yes. Yeah, yeah. There used to be an arrow there. I guess now it's just a book is what yeah. he's saying. Yeah, it used it oh, used to be. It's been the, like that for forever. Yes, not forever. It's been like that only for a few months. Mm, no. Yes, because when I was on mobile, it, it was a travel menu. You would click the button; it would open up the travel menu. But now I went and I clicked on it just the other day, and I was going, "What the heck?" It's like, why is this opening the book of lore? This is supposed to be opening up the travel menu. So I was like, mm, super. I suppose most people don't use that button. It's kind of. Well, that's exactly, yeah. <laughs> but I, I always thought, it, I mean, I don't even know the last time I'd played mobile, really. I mean, I would jump on occasionally to do a daily or something, but it didn't really require me changing maps because I was usually in the Guardian Tower when I did it. I'm curious. I bought uh, one of those handheld ones the other day, the ROG Ally. Oh. And I launched AQ3D on it. And even what? though it's a Windows PC, you can... You can uh, use mobile controls on it. <clears throat> really? So I wonder if with changing it to mobile controls, if it gets rid of that menu or not. If it re if it changes the menu, you mean? Yeah, if it changes that menu button at the bottom. Uh... I'll, have to I'll have to check. I will have to check. Yeah. Remind me to do that after the stream and I'll check it out. Yeah, to swap it and see if it... If it actually, can I, am I in combat still? I am, darn it. I want to get out of combat. I want to change my class. Oh, great. I just ran into a gift Thulu. Now I really won't be changing my class. I wish there was a way to skip combat. Type in slash run, slash run. Oh, damn or slash it. die, kill yourself. Yes, slash die would be handy. They killed the bird, so now I can't die from the bird. Oh, wait, I'm out of combat. Yes. I can just grab this quickly, make sure to avoid all kinds of combat, go up here, switch to my Berserker, there, woo, so much better. Excuse, excuse Ranger, you can hit everything. Um, is it, it's not laggy in, in here at all. This is the blue 37. It should be blue 32, because now that'd be much better with the joke that we had going. <laughs> blue 32, blue 32. So blue 37. Oh, is it full? It's full. Dang it. Okay. That it doesn't surprise me. But no, it's not laggy, at least not for me. Not yet. It oh, might you're, be you're on, you're on the computer. Talk to a mobile player. Yeah, it might be laggy for mobile with this amount of uh action going on. I'm still looking for the infamous uh, That's what we were talking thing. about Potato. when we first started the stream was the houses are really good for Houses are good for for events? For mobile players, yeah. For mobile players, there's like, nice. there's like no lag in the houses. That the is events. good to know. Now, which which houses? Because some of them might. Well, the Green Guard Quarry was the one we tested on. Okay, so Green Guard over a hundred people, and everybody said there was no lag. Really, no, no lag. Nice. Mm. So that's one one of my houses that I have is is the uh, Green Guard one, which I like it very very much. I have not been able to get out of bounds on that map though. I mean, you have not been able to. Oh, I did the door system thing, but it just didn't work. And I was going, why didn't that work? I think it's because the doors. You did, it at, you did it at my house. Yeah. And you went right outside. I know. And I was able to do it on, on the, the other um one. But for some reason, oh. I couldn't get it to work in my green guard. I'm not sure why. It's just maybe I didn't have the doors spaced quite properly enough. That's the only did thing you, I can think did of. Did you do the skinny trick? I did, yeah, yeah. I did exactly the way I did it in my other. Like you've seen, you saw, you saw the one there that I did in um, 
in, in now, how, how many doors did you use? Planet. Because the invisible wall on that one's pretty wide. Oh. The, okay, that's what that's, I was wondering. That's why at my house I had a ton of doors. You had a ton of doors. You can't, you can't get through with just a couple on that one. Okay, because in you did you see the amount of doors I had on the planet? Yeah, only like maybe three or four. Like I well, did no, for that one. It was video. more than three or four. It was probably like closer to twenty. But there's so no way. there's yeah yeah on the planet I had about twenty doors, but but they're so so spaced apart. They're so extremely thinly p spaced apart that they take up hardly any room. Oh, you don't need to do all that. That's doing too much. Yeah, but I mean, it was just, I was just literally copy paste. I would, I just copy, slide, like, you know, half an inch. Copy, slide, half an inch. So it didn't take any time at all to build it. But I'll then, tell you what, when we're, when we're done with this stream, I'm going to give you the fastest crash course. I'll stream it to you. So okay. You can see. Yeah, yeah, that'll help. Because it, it'll only take a minute to do. Right, yeah. It didn't take me very long to build the one on the planet. And I thought, well, how come this didn't work on my other one so i thought maybe it's because i spaced the doors too far apart that's why i spaced it closer on the planet was because but but i think you're right i think it is because the wall the barrier to the outside is wider than it is in on the planet or on the other maps potentially yeah so maybe maybe <clears> that's <throat> although it was cool to go out of bounds on the planet one you can actually climb those purple towers pretty high up I was only able to climb one. I didn't. I didn't get all the way to the top though, because it, it starts to go out. Like the top of it starts to go yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. Build like I a was small platform. Of building a platform. Yeah, there. yeah. Jump on that, and then you could get to the top. Mm -hmm. Of but of it has the collision. Which I was. Is cool I, I, that's what I was surprised about. Because some of the stuff out in the distance never has collision. I, oh, as soon as you go outside of the barrier, uh, usually it's only like, the 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 floor that has barrier uh, that has the uh, collision, and everything else is, is no collision. Well, like for instance, the ah, um, oh, there now we're <clears throat> those. The the pirate map one that we can get. Okay. I broke out of that one to go to that ship out in the distance <clears throat> because oh, I've always wanted to go to that ship. The island, and yeah. The ship does not have collision. No, I I figured it probably didn't. We didn't we discover that in one of the other maps though. That was in uh, Yokai Island. Yokai Island. Okay. So what I did was I put a uh, plank just underneath the visual of that floor. Oh. So you, so you could stand on the boat like you're supposed you to be standing. <laughs> oh, okay. So you've made it look, <laughs> seem like you could stand on the. Yeah. Exactly. On the thing. Ah, very clever. <laughs> Very, very clever. Um, why isn't this being done in a house? Um, I am not the person who set this event up. This is a Rarex. The guild, Rarex, is doing a spawn event and asked me if I wanted to attend. So I said, sure. They, they put it on a Sunday, which worked out well because I didn't have a whole lot of plans today. So I was able to attend and decided since I'm going to be spawning some birds and partaking of the event, might as well stream it, which is what I ended up doing. So, but you are right. I think it would be probably a bad idea to do it in a house. Unfortunately, that was not the plan that Rarix had. They wanted to do it. Well, originally, Rarix announced that they were going to be doing it in Heroes Hangout, but they ended up doing it here instead for some reason. Maybe because of the lag, potential potential lag but with the houses you're able to go with a much higher player cap which is probably not a great idea logi monster just posted and said that there's a second instance axe 26 so if if you guys can't make it into this one there's a second instance there might be some spawns going on there as well so you'd be able to get some so oh my inventory is capped actually that's not a good thing what if i do get the potato yeah, I'm still trying to get said potato too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop collecting those things. Actually, I never use them anyways, so that will free up some space. I still have a lot of crap in my inventory, but but not a whole 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 lot. Not as much as I thought. Beat Blaze up. Where where's Blaze? You see Blaze? Oh, <gasps> what? They still have a Blaze. Golly. I wonder if that's coming back anytime soon. Um, yes, it is. It's supposed to be in June or July. Mm. This is supposed to be this summer at some point. 
So the bonfire, it was postponed, you know, due to complications. But it is supposed to be uh, at some point this summer. So looking forward to it because that's going to be a lot of fun. And I've seen, it's, it's ironic too, because I've seen a lot of people ask about that. So I'd had some people on my channel last month asking about it. And then um, back in March, they were asking about it. And even before March, they were asking about it. So then when I brought it up to Blaze, he, he said, yeah, he goes, I am planning on doing it, but there was no ETA as to when. So he's shooting for the summer. Hopefully. Oh, yay. I still needed some of those. Perfect. Hopefully that'll work. Now, you said at one point, you said that the blaze, the little spawning fat blaze thing, that that's good XP. Hell yeah. yeah I have like right. uh, 50 of them stacked up for whenever there's a new level. I just for... pop an XP boost and sit on them and kill them. And then just drop those things. Okay. What yeah, are those called? Easy to... Wide? Wide they're blaze? W wide blazes. Yeah. Wide blaze. I, I have about 20 of them in my bank. So I'll just hold on to that. And then the next level cap, I'll, I'll uh, drop those. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not going to level you up, but it gives no, you a no. good chunk after your daily tests are over. Right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, okay, that's cool. And it's easy, right? You could just stand one place and just hit it because you can spawn it. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. It's easy, and it's quick kills, too. Mm -hmm. It's very, very quick kills, which is nice. Yeah, you could do it with like a group if everybody ran samurai and just auto-attacked with the little baby auto-attack the samurai has. Then everybody could get a hit off on it, and then you kill it. Okay, okay. You know? Um, so just to mention to anybody who's just tuning in now, Loki Monster says Axe 26. Just in case you guys can't get to this one. If you can get to this one, it is Blue 37. Blue 37 for this one, but Loki has some at Blue... Uh, sorry, at Axe... What was it again? 26. X 26. X 26. Artix nerf the general G fuel. It's impossible to do it on a cell phone. That camera doesn't help. It's difficult to do it in the map, and the dungeon is abandoned. So please help. No, it's not. It's not impossible on mobile. I've done so it. So it, 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 yeah, it's not impossible on on mobile. But I do understand what you mean. It is a very very difficult one. Can you can I, actually can solo I, it on mobile, so it is doable. You, you, you can do it. You can do it. I yeah. have attempted it on mobile, and I personally was not able to complete it by myself. And then there was so. one other player there, and we tried it, but the both of us together, we were also not able to do it. So I do understand the difficult, the difficulty level of it is extremely difficult for people that might not have the best class or the setup or... Yeah, just use pirate with mobile and you're good to go. Well, yeah, but the it's the evading that I had issues with on mobile because yeah, it's sounds not like a skillish. It, it, it's <laughs> not as precise as it is using controller on the PC, so it's not a I skill did, issue. I did it and recorded it and posted it. Yes, it I hard. know, I know, but you're also an idiot, so that's you know the reason why you were able to do it. <laughs> It's not that bad, man. I'm telling you. The, the skill of the boss lags. It it can lag. Yeah. I was able to do it um, to f to fight it without lag, except for the loading the map. Especially, oh, the loading on mobile is horrible. The first yes. Especially, especially the loading <laughs> the map on mobile. It, it's, it's a long, lengthy thing, which can make it very, very irritating. Mm -hmm. But it would be recommended to do it with a full team. That would definitely help. But it, no, it, it's easier to solo. Every person that goes in there's health gets higher and higher. And oh, higher that's and higher. true, too. That's true. But uh, I mean, if you can't much... do it by yourself, it does make it very, very difficult. Well, like, OK, for instance, right? like I run it for people mm -hmm. and I tell them hit no, because when they join, it actually makes it harder for me to do it. And if they're just going to die, then it's, it really just makes the whole dungeon longer. Uh, OK, okay. So <clears> especially you... towards the later stages when you die and you respawn right. and you fall right into a bomb and die right away. So now you're just making the boss stronger without helping them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think it's it's faster and easier. And also, I'm not 100% sure on this, but what I 
noticed is it seems like he drops more bombs the more people that are in there too. So it has more floor coverage. Oh, so you actually have more room have to evade. More. Okay, okay. Um, if you're just in there by yourself. Okay. I am going to uh, try to load up. My no. phone life is not super high, but yeah, I'm going to try to load up my, my plug it alt in, account. Plug it in. And then I'm going to be jumping to Loki's. So if you guys are not able to get into this instance that I'm currently in, which is Blue 37, I'm going to be loading up my alt and sending my alt account to Loki's instance, which is Axe 26. So if you can't get in here, Axe 26. And anybody else you know that can't get in here, they can go to Axe 26 as well. So I've come up with a theory, by the way. Really? Yeah, I know why your travel form won't drop for me. Oh. Yeah. Do tell. Because you don't want to get demonetized. <gasps> that's why. <laughs> that, that's got to be it. You nailed yeah. it. Yeah, remember last time what happened when the pet dropped? <laughs> that is exactly. Okay. You, you confirmed it right there. Yeah. That is confirmation. <clears throat> you actually have two versions of the spawn. One version is the uh, one that doesn't drop. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. it. Yeah. Whew, finally, <laughs> the mystery has been solved. Has to be, right? That, I mean, that's obviously, it's conclusive. Oh, yeah. You know, you've it's got enough a, evidence. Oh, yeah. yeah. With the amount of time, exactly. you know, like, yeah, it's so you've you've 100% confirmed it. Yeah, and Dagger just didn't like me. That's why Jufro won't drop. That... He has my name oh! hard-coded into it. Yeah. So he he coded it in, so it's yeah. impossible for you to get it because he actually coded it in to prevent the drop on that account. It has to be because That's when it. I, I ran it for uh, Avon, Ivory, and uh, okay. Playboy. Right. And they all, they all got the pet. I they... didn't see it in the loot menu. What? I did not see it in the loot menu. I was like, what are you talking about? And I left because I didn't see it in there. And they all got it. I thought they were messing with me, but then they all put it on right in front of me. I was like, I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that, right, Ivory? I most certainly do. Oh, <laughs> man. That's... I, felt che I felt cheated. <laughs> we felt so bad for you. <laughs> I could definitely understand the uh, the level of feeling cheated. Oh, geez. Let me just turn that right down. He did all the work and did all, yeah. the did all the work, didn't benefit from anything. That's... Yeah, it was not in the loot menu. I pressed F, opened it up. There was only some health potions, the goblin fuel, and then the temporary travel form. That's crazy. Yeah, that that is that is really crazy. Okay, so my my alt is now at Loki's location, and there's there's a lot pumping over on that other side as well. So if you guys are not able to get into the instance that I'm currently in with my main account, jump over to Axe 26. Axe 26, and then you'll be able to get some birds, and there's other spawns and stuff going off as well. Birds are not going to be as frequent on over there because it's on my alt account. And there is other spawns. I, plus, I don't know how many people are there, so I don't want to... There's actually a lot of people in the other instance as well. So if you do want to get in, you might want to make sure you're there now just to make sure you're able to get into the second instance because this could easily trickle into a third instance, which is also a possibility. A lot of those, but still no... Still no whatchamacallits, which is really unfortunate because I want a potato. The season's going to go by and I won't be able to get it. I just wish I could have the items and it seems like I'll never be able to, with this phone, make a weekly nerf system for abandoned bosses. Hmm. Wait, what items are you referring to? Are you referring to the drops of the boss? I like, think he's talking about the pet in the trail phone that everybody hunts there. Right, right. I, I'm, I'm assuming that, that that would be it as well. I still see people there all the time on red and blue server. They run in, go to the boss, and go inside. Oh, okay. Uh, could you could you write to um 
Kesif because he he asked how to get here, but then he says, "Can somebody write the code?" Could you? Well, could what you, was it? Blue thirty seven. Uh, yeah, drop blue thirty seven and um, Loki's one. Axe something 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 or other. Axe twenty six. Axe twenty six. Could you just that way people can either copy and paste it or yep. just in case. So if they can't get into this one, at least they have an option to get into. One of the ones that will have spawns, hopefully, unless there it does trickle into a third. Uh oh, I sp I spawned it too close. I'm starting to get spawn killed. Sorry, sorry, people, my bad. It's not good to get spawn killed because then sometimes you back up and exit the map. <laughs> Which can happen. It's happened to me before. Once during a live stream, I backed up. I think it was a dev stream. Uh, it was a um, uh, what call it stream, uh, a um, live event, and then I, I backed up and I left the event. I was in with the devs. I think it was uh, Artix and Glazelle, and then I I backed up and I accidentally left the map they were in. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" I wasn't able to get back into their instance. I was still able to partake of the event, so which was fine because it was, you know, server wide, but it was cool that I was in the instance with with Artix and Glazel, who is no longer on the team. I'm gonna miss her. She was uh she was very awesome. So it is unfortunate. It you know what I noticed? Okay. Some some devs are they spotlight themselves you know they they become part of the community and then other devs don't even have any online presence yeah that's true you notice that yeah like dej has a, a a heavy online um presence and then you have people like he, he did used to be more active though he's not as active he's he he's not as active now as he used <laughs> to be but but he he still is a, a presence, you know what I mean. He still he's on Twitter and 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 whatnot. But he used to and get he, in game a lot more too. Like he, he used to be in Noxus, game. When Noxus was around, he actually jumped in. Uh, Ran dungeons. The dungeon I was in oh, when the okay, server so you... was about to restart, and he oh. asked if he want if we wanted him to just kill it real fast so we didn't lose our progress. Oh okay. I was oh, like cool. yeah. We were all like yeah. And he just one shot at it. We we're like hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> Hey, well, Tuffy! We literally had like three minutes left, huh? Oh, whoa. Before the reset. Yeah, and we just started. We didn't realize oh, that it was wow. about to reset. We're like, oh, no. Uh, okay. Oh, well, my cousin is in the chat right now. Tuffy. Tuffer Eagle is his... He's, he used to be an a AE YouTuber, actually. Or what? At one point. um, You know, Tuffy. Yeah, yeah, you're cutting out, though. I was cutting out? Oh, yeah, for, little bit for of, me. Okay, sorry. A little bit of a lag. I, the game was also bogging right there, so a little mishap with the internet probably. I just heard Tuffy or and then it went, it, it, it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> small small lag. Yeah, so yeah, Tuffy is my cousin. He used to be a um, AE YouTuber. He would make different news articles and stuff regarding the game. It was actually pretty cool. It's unfortunate that... Now he's too busy to do that sort of thing. But it's cool to see that in Loki says it's by choice some dev Oh, oh, it's by choice some devs don't want to be in game. Yeah, yeah, that's it, it is. It would be a personal a personal thing, which I can understand. It it makes sense because yeah, I mean there there was one dev I didn't even know existed called Astra or Astro or something. I had no idea that they were even a dev. Because you you don't see them anywhere. So there's other there's been other ones as well. Festive bear pet. I just got the festive bear pet, but I already have it. But still, that's cool that you can actually do it. And holy crap, I've been forgetting to spawn the bird. It's a good thing there's already there's a lot of spawns going on in the second on the second uh, map too, which is good. But I will drop a spawn just in case. Want to keep that up, Tuffy? Don't you put that emoji? That's inappropriate. Is it? Tiss kiss. Well, yeah. 
What's the emoji? It looks like a little blue face. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Do you see the little blue face? Do you see what he's doing? It's pulling his cheeks down. Yeah. That? Oh, that's you do not live where I live, but where I come from, that is an extremely inappropriate gesture. Really? Mm-hmm. Where I come from, it's just like you're either really tired or exasperated. Oh well, you probably come from the states. I do come from. The well, states. they've got things backwards <clears throat> when it comes to that emoji. I can tell you that much right now. I don't know about that one. Well, it's... I heard y'all leave your doors unlocked up there. We do. <laughs> well, we don't really have doors. We call them ice floors because you can just push them open because they're made of ice. <laughs> In our, you know, igloos and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> so, and then yeah, our yeah, walls yeah. are usually lined with beer, pancakes, maple syrup, and marijuana. That's. Look, look, look. I'm down for the maple syrup. I've had Canadian maple syrup before. It has good. It is amazing. <laughs> it is really amazing. <clears throat> I I actually yeah. it's it's funny too because I never really knew how much I liked maple syrup until I didn't have it and then I went to Quebec City and we walked by this little shop and they had this sugar on snow. This these little spoon things tiny little spoon things with maple syrup hardened maple syrup wrapped around it and mm. i used to have that and well tuffy would remember that we used to do that on my grandparents they would boil up sap and make this you know hard maple syrup stuff which you would then eat with a fork or however you want it was amazing, absolutely amazing. So I had that at Quebec City last summer, and holy cow, I was going, oh my goodness, why have I not eaten maple syrup in eons? So I have went you ever and tried I American bought a big syrup? thing of maple syrup. Uh, I have, I think, I think I have. How'd you like it in comparison? I'm not, it's been a long time, so it would be really hard to compare. Mm. I think ours is more sugar tasting where you don't get as much as the maple flavor. Oh, uh, okay. Cuz it's like it's fake, huh? Most just like everything else in America, even the cheese is fake. Oh here. my goodness. <laughs> I, I had I had some fake maple syrup not that long ago and I've been buying real maple syrup so it's you know from a local farmer so it's compared to that the fake maple syrup is so sugar. It's it's it was all it yeah. literally just tasted like sugar water. Yeah, like it, that's what it tasted like. And I was going, "This is terrible." It was li- the first ingredient: glucose, fructose. I'm going, "Really? That's the first ingredient?" So I'm literally mm-hmm. injecting myself with liquid sugar, basically. So I was going, "Ugh, that's horrible." I don't want to put that on my pancakes. You know what I did, and I didn't, I never used to do this, not when I was a kid, but I put peanut butter on a pancake. It's amazing. What? Peanut butter. Just put a small layer of peanut butter on a pancake with maple syrup. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. Lots of people here do that. They also use the, uh, the chocolate Nutella. Yeah, yes. Well, the chocolate Nutella, yes. Chocolate 100%. Nutella. That's another one. I tried that as well. Amazing. Peanut butter peanut and that. Butter? And, and both, that put one. them both together. It's like a, a Reese's Pieces pancake. Like, it, it's really good. Yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah, try try the peanut butter. It, it's it's excellent. I was really, really impressed with it. Oh, Tevi says, don't know what's been going on around hometown, but that's nothing like up here. Oh, well, that's that's good to know. Every Easter around Easter. Yes, that, that's when every season around Easter, that's when we did the whole sugaring off. That's what we called it, sugaring off. And and that's that's when you would have that maple sugar thing. Chef Raven. Oh, trust me, I am no chef. If you want to have a decent meal, do not eat at my place. I burn everything. The only number I have on standby is the fire department. Sounds about right. That's the bachelor <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, I burn absolutely everything, which sucks, too, because 
I'm I eat a lot of meat, but I can't cook it for the life of me. So I don't even really call it meat. I just call it charcoal. You made your own beef jerky. Yeah, ba- that's <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. Beef jerky. Yeah, it's uh, it can be rather. Uh... Well, I mean, the other day I surprised myself because the hamburger I actually cooked and ate was not completely black. It I could see some some actual meat color in there. So I was pretty proud of myself. Is it okay to eat burnt meat every day? <laughs> it's probably full of carcinogens, so it's <laughs> not something you'd want to do on a regular basis, which is I I should probably learn how to cook better. You're probably, you're probably putting the heat on too high before you put the patty. I, I the turn pan. it down so low. It's I have it set on four. I don't know that man. Out of ten, I've never burnt meat that much. Oh. I couldn't see anything. Oh yeah, no, I, I, it's, it's usually charcoal. It was rough. Yeah, it's it's very unfortunate. <laughs> Even Red Fox is like, turn the heat down. Yeah, but what? I mean, lower than four, and then I got to sit and wait for 25 minutes? Like, if it takes longer than five minutes to cook a hamburger, that's too long. No, it should only take about five, ten minutes to cook a hamburger. Ten minutes? That's too long. It has to be between two to five minutes. Well, I like mine to move, so it takes like three minutes. I just like a light brown on the outside. Light brown, okay. Well, at least you're not like... I, I went to a restaurant, this is like quite a while ago, over a year ago now. We went and we, we ordered, I don't even remember what I had. The guy next to me had a steak, but it was raw. And I mean like raw, raw. Like it, it basically looked as if they had just threw it into the frying pan for one second on each side and that was it. And I was going, Really? Like that, how I mean, you can get salmonella poisoning or whatever, maybe not from beef, but still, I was just going, uh, that is not, it did not look appetizing. You, not something I would want to eat for sure. Fair enough. Uh, Tuff, Tuffy says he takes his pink in the middle. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how I would eat, eat it. I go, what is that? Medium? Is that medium or medium rare? That's a, I could eat it like that. I couldn't eat it almost raw. I like it raw. That's gross is what that is. Yeah, I like when you. I cut into it, it looks like I just murdered it. Whoa, that is... No, no, no. Could not do that. That would not... Mo, Loki says, My grandfather used to tap his maple trees. He had a small woods in his property. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had uh, one of our uncles. He was... Boy, he he didn't have a small woods. He had a massive, like, huge, huge woods. And he had, like, it was so big that he had four-wheelers and skidoos to drive around the property and and check. And it wasn't just the typical, you know, single tap. Like, he he had the wires and the lines, you know, running all through the trees. So it would all auto-tap the trees, I guess, in a sense. And then he had this big, huge boiler where he would boil all the sap and everything. Like, it was a legit business that he ran. But he had great maple syrup. Really, really good stuff. That was awesome. I'd only been to his property a few times. It didn't really... Uh, he he was he lived pretty far away. Well, I mean, back when he had that huge property, he lived far away. He moved a lot, a lot closer. Before he passed away, he moved a lot closer to us, but... Still, yeah, he had some great stuff. You remember that there, Tuffy? Donald, he had some yummy. Tell you, if I could you still get that. He said he had that. a farm? Yep, huge farm. So so he was old McDonald and he had a farm? Uh, Well, kind of, yeah. Not McDonald. Yeah. I don't even know what his last name was, to be honest. He said Don. Don, oh, McDonald's. Donald. Yeah, McDonald's Donald was his first name. I don't know what his last name was, actually. He technically, he wasn't... He wasn't biologically medium rare. That's the meat there. There you go. Tough. That's exactly it. Uh, he wasn't our biological uncle, which is kind of weird because like I've known him my entire, well, he's dead now, but I knew him my entire life and he was, it was, I think it was because his wife was my aunt's best friend in college. I think that was 
the connection. So then every like family event we had, she was always there. And so it, we just, I guess, started calling her aunt. So that was basically, but it, but it's also one of my friends, Tim, his mother, like, I mean, he, he was just a friend yet. We called him cousin because we were always at his place. He was always at our place. His parents and our, my parents were super, super close. So we called them aunt and uncle and they, they like Tim and his brother, Andrew would call my parents, uncle and aunt. It was just, that was the way it was. I don't I don't know how normal of a thing that is to call complete non-related people but in our family this quite we have quite a few relatives that are not biological relatives it's through some other means it's kind of funny when you think about it. Hmm. I've heard that happen before I've never it, had a first hand though. Okay. Okay, but you have heard of people having <clears throat> doing that. Mhm. Mm okay. So it's not as as rare as I would think, because my friends around here don't really do that. So, oh, hey, where is the spawns? Uh, there's two locations that the spawns are going on. The first of which is Blue 37, and the second is Axe. Uh, it's too far up in the chat. 26? Uh, I, I think it's Axe 26. Oh, whoops. Hold on. I'll just I'll just type it. Cause I'm sure that my my instance the instance I'm in right now, I'm sure is full. I'm sure this instance is completely tapped out. The next this, the second instance might still be available. I don't really know. Act twenty six is is the code. Oh, fun fun eighty nine. Never mind. Ignore mine. It's fun eighty nine. So it's fun eighty nine. Is it, is it, that's the same one, right, Loki? Like you're still in the same instance? Probably had to relog. Yeah, probably <clears throat> had to relog, which is understandable. I mean, that's gonna happen. I'm surprised my alt has not crashed yet. Knock on wood. Wait, did I spawn a bird? How did I die right there? Did my bird kill me? Did I spawn a bird? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, just confirming. I did spawn it. His wife was a long time. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's how. So yeah, the aunt was a long time friend of the family, and that's basically why. Aloki says we call my parents friends, aunts, and uncles. It's a Canadian thing, maybe. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, it could be actually. Kind of funny, actually. You can have a lot more family than you thought you did, even though you don't want to have some of your family. I mean, I have a really stupid cousin called Tuffy, and I tell you, you do not want to have a cousin like him. It's a good thing he's not in the voice, I mean, in the uh, chat, so he can't hear my thing, and I'll delete this live stream, so he'll never hear me calling him a complete idiot. So that's a good thing. Whew. I know, right? <laughs> Loki would go, I mean, not Loki, um, Ivory would go right back and tell him anyways, because she's his bestie. Because <laughs> we're not good enough to be her bestie. I would totally tell him on you. <laughs> See? Look at that. <laughs> Can't trust her at all. She's going to tell Tuffy everything. Uh-oh. Account just said he got rabies from the bird. That is not good. I didn't know my bird dropped rabies. Dun, dun. It doesn't drop it and affects you. It affects you, yeah. <laughs> oh, she, yeah, she crashed. Blue 37 is still the other one. So Blue blue 37, if you're able to get in. <laughs> oh, he said what an idiot. What? He said what an idiot. <laughs> he said, yeah, what an idiot. What, what you were saying. Uh, what? Where? I didn't see that. When you called him an idiot, he said, yeah, what an idiot. How come I'm not seeing that? I see. I think you're right, Loki. Yeah, underneath that. Scroll down a little bit. You're up in the chat. Nope. I don't see him talking. Yeah. Where? Is I, it? Where she said I crashed a little while back. He said, yeah, what an idiot. What? That is not I what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, yeah, I crashed a little bit. And then I see Gold Raven more like Rude Raven. <laughs> 
Yeah, right above that is where he said it. I uh, do not see that hmm. on my chat. What the heck? Maybe it's because I'm on top chat. Maybe that affects something. No, I'm on top chat. I see him. Well, I'm going to go live chat. There, now I see it. That's weird. So that means, why would it put me on top chat automatically? That's stupid. Mm. I'm supposed to be able to see, I should be able to see every chat. So that's dumb. But yeah, no, I now I can see it. <laughs> yeah, what an idiot says. Tuffy, don't make fun of yourself. That's it. Ivory, you have to smack yourself. You made fun of Tuffy and you made him feel bad. Wait, wait, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm all you. Don't even. Oh, man, that's funny. You're the meanie head. Tuffy says, I'm not seeing Rude Raven. The treasure of Blaze. Yep. You can get some good stuff from the Blaze things. But you know what I can't seem to get? The potato. I just dropped another chest. I'm hoping to get it myself. Yes. That's what I would love to get. I I have three. Would you like one, Goldraven? You have three potatoes? Yes. You better be lying right now. No, well, she already whispered it to me to make me feel bad about myself. I got one just a little bit ago. You got a potato weapon just a little bit ago? Mm-hmm. Okay, get out of here. You need to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't say anything. I didn't want to make you cry. <laughs> that is so not fair. How on earth do you go and get that? And I've been struggling for three years trying to get that darn potato, but thanks to Tuffy, I haven't. Yeah, I know. Me too. Oh, I tell you. And then she tells me, I just got my third one. I'm like, oh, thanks. That's insane. I hate myself again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly that's because i don't want it if you don't want it it'll give it to you once it drops, you it drops it, all the time. It. exactly like, it I've took got, me a long time to get it i've gotten rare stuff and then it'll drop like two kills later after that again oh my goodness wow it's like oh you already have it we'll just keep giving it to you that's okay but if you don't have it it's like nah <laughs> yeah yeah, you have to, you have to get it once in order to get it multiple times. Oh, Logie said that the the the, the, the um thing that what's his name had posted had been blocked by the auto mod. That's that's why I didn't see it in the top chat because the auto mod had I guess thought it was inappropriate maybe. Oh, because the idiot. Because of the word, yeah, the word in it. Be like, oh, that's offensive. But it's weird because it's not on a filter. But I mean, oh, it's probably just because of the. For the thing. Me and my three gold raven pets. What the? Yeah, I've gotten your pet. I don't know how many times. That's what I first dropped. I just keep what getting the it. bloody heck? But I can't get the damn travel. You can't get the travel form. You can't get the travel form. Yeah. See, After that now, first time we getting that pet, I got the pet so many times. Really? That. I don't even say anything. It's like no, not even exciting anymore. How many yeah, times because you've gotten it so many times. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the travel form though. That's a different story. That's a different story. Okay. Because I haven't gotten it yet, so I haven't gotten it. Oh, I know. I, I, I as was, soon as I, I get it, though, every event I'll get one. <laughs> once you, once <laughs> you get Well, I don't know. I mean, my, my alt hasn't gotten it since he got it. I mean, he got it once, and then he hasn't gotten it since. But he did get the pet, which was lucky. Mm. Oh, Red Fox still, still no wings. What? She's gotten the Gold Raven pet three times. And she still doesn't have the wings. That that that's wow. Don't look at my bank. I have like twenty of the wings sitting in there. Yes, I yeah. I remember you had a slew of wings and heads. Wow. And, and hundreds of stacks of feathers. Uh, Tuffy, I can't believe you just posted that. What did he post this time? I don't see nothing. No, well, it's a it's a question because he's been razzing me for the last oh five years. Because you remember the dread, dreadful, oh, dreadful's cards. Yeah. Yes, he goes and he runs a dungeon, and he ends up getting the dreadful cards, which was something I had been farming for a couple months on and off to try to get them. I still don't have them, and he's been gloating ever since. So no, I do still not have those cards. I'm going to have to do like a live stream one day where I do nothing but go after those cards. Because it seems that if I try to do it without streaming, I never get it. 
I mean, if I'm streaming something, I seem to have more luck for some reason. Whether, whether that's the way that it operates, it's like, everybody, you want to get a good drop? You got to make sure that you live stream it. And then that way you're guaranteed a good drop. <laughs> Seems to be mm. almost almost how it is. Even though I, I did get... Oh, okay. Okay, Taffy. How about this? I got the Frog's Art ate my head thingy after like 30 years. Well, no, I, I got I got it rapidly fast, but the, I, I was doing a method that I learned on RuneScape. There's a, obviously there's no science behind it, but it seemed to work because I would run the dungeon for a little while. If I wasn't getting any good drops, I would log out and log back in. And I would continue to do that until I finally got it. And then once I got, because this is what I would do in RuneScape, I would be farming a dungeon to try to get some good loot. And I wouldn't be getting good loot. So I'd log out, log back in, try it again. If I got said, good loot, said, I wouldn't log you, out. He's already got that. Wait, where does he say that? Well, he didn't say screw you, but he said, yeah, I've had that for a while. <laughs> it was basically a screw you already got. Oh, it. <laughs> okay. I see. I was looking for that. That Don't is to make not me jealous. I got nice. That, <laughs> that is not nice, Tuffy. And how dare you insult me that way? Just crashed. Oh, Loki just crashed again. So her new summon is Box 20. So if you can't get into this one, which is Blue 37, if you can't get into Blue 37 summon code, go to Box 20 summon code. And Blue 32. I'm also trying to remember to spawn birds occasionally. Red says that the cards are easy. The, car the cards are easy. Well, it, it, yeah, I mean, uh, it depends on who you are. They can be easy in some cases. Yeah, I, I haven't gotten those yet either. You haven't got those either? Okay, no. finally. Nope. Whew. It drops way more than expected. Wait, what drops way more than expected? Oh. I'm not sure what account he's referring to. He says it drops way more than expected, but I'm not sure if he's referring to one of the bird things maybe no clue trying to because the other person mentioned the he also said eat your vegetables in the stream chat so who said eat your vegetables i can't oh <laughs> maybe he's referring to that <clears throat> eat your vegetables i have not actually eaten any vegetables in the last three days oh you're not gonna get any drops if you don't eat your vegetables yeah I really should be eating the vegetables. It's just that by the time I get to the vegetable portion of the meal, I'm already completely full. So. Oh, you'll trade the birds for the bird. Tra you'll trade your cards for the bird travel form deal. That sounds Wait, that's like that's all we got to do. That's all you got to do. <clears throat> I'm down. Okay. Well, well, dang, I'll give you a potato then for that. All right. Deal. We'll we'll trade it. We just have to wait for trading to come into the game, and then bam. So we'll see you all in 2030. <laughs> Six years, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool to have trading in the game, but I could see it being very problematic. Everything's overinflated now. So it's never going to happen. Everybody has too much gold. Everybody has too many items. Oh, well, that's exactly it. But what if it wasn't gold? Well, like, you want to introduce a third currency? Nope. What if it was item for item? Well, see, then they'd have... I think that would take a lot of time for them to implement because they would have to have a blacklist of what can be traded and what can't. But and that's, that's every exactly what I mean. Every single collection that's ever been sold. That's that's what I mean. Like the uh, and, and that's why I was I was saying years ago, back when somebody was talking about the trading system, saying how it wouldn't be that difficult to put it in. I'm going, uh, actually, considering the amount of items in there, they would have to. It would be manually... easy to implement if you didn't care what's traded. But it, since okay, it would be easy to implement currency. if they didn't have anything that was locked behind paywalls or exclusives and stuff like that. Then it would be mm. easy. But yeah, otherwise, because of all these limits, which there would be a lot of, basically, every legacy item would be locked. 
But I will say that they're not categorized they that plan, way in the database. If they do, right. If they do plan on making it trading, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. The longer they wait, the harder they're making it on themselves. That's true. The more that they're going to have the, to code. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's it, why I say at this point it's not going to happen. There ain't no way. I I, I, I would ha- I would have to agree with you. At this point, it would be the amount of work involved in doing it would just not be worth the the time mm-hmm. because of the items, and then every single item henceforth would also have to be adapted into the trade system. Well, what they could do is make it so that any item that was released prior to trading is locked. You can't trade it. Okay, so anything above. And then you, anything new. Th- that's an interesting they idea. They have a trade tag to it. Maybe. You know what? That's actually not an original idea. Back when Cicero was working for Arctic Entertainment, he actually, that's what he said. He When somebody had posted, I made a video on that actually. Not, not just on that comment, but in regards to trading and, and other potential features and i mentioned what he had commented to somebody on twitter was that if trading he never said when he just said if trading ever comes into the game everything before the trade feature is implemented would be untradeable would not be available on the auction at on the action house so that's very similar to what you were saying like it would not be available Prior, you know, prior to the trade thing, it would not be available. Everything before that would be considered legacy in a sense, you know. Right. So anything, anything moving forward, they could then tag it to be tradable. Like, you know, put a put a badge on that item. Okay, this is tradable, and they could do that for every item that they would consider tradable would have this special tag. It's still a lot of work. It'd still be a lot of work, but much less work. Mm-hmm. You know, it'd still it'd be more doable that way. Yeah, Tuffy said he's had that for quite a while. Dreadfool's cards is easy, but yeah, for me they certainly weren't easy. Never gotten cards on Loki despite trying, but my Hollow Edge Knight got it on the first ever kill. Wow. That is crazy lucky. It's really funny how RNG can work like that, though. Like in some cases, I remember when I did that spawn in in Battleon, and that noob who didn't even know who I was goes and gets the pet, and it was going, "What? How does a low level that's never even fought the bird doesn't you know he, he doesn't even know the first thing about the game really?" And, and he goes and gets the pet, and he, he, I mean he doesn't even know how rare it is. Like he, he to him it was just a, oh I got a pet cool. Now I'll add it to the other 62 pets I already own. You know, it was just a normal thing. So it's kind of funny how crazy RNG can be. You could be extremely lucky or extremely unlucky like you with the case of the, uh, what is that dungeon called there that you've been running for an eternity? G Fuel? Yeah, G Fuel. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of runs. Thousands of runs. And it's all because of Tuffy. Well... All I need is the pet, and then I can finally assume your identity. Yep. That's <laughs> all you need. Just the pet. I got I got the voice. I got the uh, the armor. got the pet. <laughs> got the pet just to travel for him, and you're so close. Yep. This bird's given me nothing but heartache and death, and I'm here for it. <laughs> hey, Raven, thanks for the birds. You are very welcome. And yes, the I've, the bird is definitely a death bringer. I forgot to tell you when after I posted that video, a few people thought that was actually you, and we were just playing a prank on them. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they thought that you talking about having the feathers for the pillows was they, a real. They thing. actually thought that was <laughs> me talking. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, that's how good the bot was, I guess. Yeah. Wow. That funny. That's that impressive. Funny. <laughs> oh my goodness wow I, I i did show one of my friends that uh goldie mcflaps oh speaking of which i wanted to show that to um we should actually make it a newer version of that because yeah your, i can your, do that your bot improved since then didn't it yeah it does the mannerisms a lot better now yeah so we and then we could show blaze that because i was wanting to show blaze that i think that'd be quite funny 
So if we redid it and then I could show him show him that he'd get a chuckle out of that. But yeah, it's it's kinda crazy how you can have like an AI thing sounding exactly like the one that the one that King Werepire made, it, it it really does sound like me. So much to the point of where there was actual people saying that they thought it was me just playing a trick on on them, but it wasn't me at all. Yeah, we need to do like uh <laughs> like one of one of the videos you need to write a script for it and we'll just run it through the air <laughs> and see if anybody notices oh, which one it is. Oh instead of me actually doing <laughs> instead of the, you actually the dialogue. Talking, you record it all. Instead of you doing right, the right. dialogue, just write a script. Run write it the through. script and I'll then send you the audio. Oh. We should give that anybody... a go and then see if people are like, What's wrong with your voice? or see if anybody notices. Yeah, we could give that a go. That'd be interesting to know if anybody would actually detect it. Yeah, I'll just send you the audio, then you can just overlay it on the video, and there you go. Right, right. Huh, that would be an interesting idea. We'll definitely have to try that. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't tell anybody when or... Well, like, we, we won't mention... Decent far out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, wouldn't, we wouldn't mention outside of this live stream, of course. So anybody listening, don't pay tell anybody. Or but pay attention. See well, pay, yeah, yeah. See, one of the upcoming videos will have my voice. We'll have uh, we'll have a fake voice, but it does really sound like me. I, I'd seen one they they did a really good job. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and they <laughs> nailed it. Like, of course, he's got a very distinctive voice, you know. Mm -hmm. So it it would make it harder to detect a fake because of how distinct his voice is. Whereas in mine, can blend. Like, I, I mean, I've had multiple people say like, "Hey, are you?" Blah blah blah, and they'll mention another YouTuber because you sound exactly like him. And I was going, "What, really?" So I look up the YouTuber. I'm going, "He sounds a was little one of them bit dangerously like me." Funny? I don't know. I don't because remember. There's, there's been countless. YouTube, that sounds just like it. Oh, see, that's what I mean. That, that's what I mean. Like, there's, a, you know, my voice is similar to a lot of other people out there, so it's harder to mimic, specifically because of how unoriginal it is. Whereas in somebody like. Schwarzenegger is far more unique. So it's... it's I think e where his home country is probably not that unique. Pro I'm, yeah, yeah, that's probably true. It's just unique because he's got that accent and he's an American television movie star. Yeah, 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 that's, that's probably... <sighs> I keep forgetting that you can get wood and brick from things. But yeah, you know, yeah, you're right, you're right. That, that's, that would definitely be it. If anyone has ever seen The Circle... In Netflix, there's an AI on it that's actually fooling the other house guests. Re oh, really? I have not seen the circle. And, and so there's an AI that talks and it actually tricks the other. So they, they wouldn't even have any, any idea. Well, that, that's basically that's what the reality is like now. It would be very, very hard to tell. Like the Arnold Schwarzenegger video, the only way you were able to tell is through certain gives. You know, if, if you're really aware of how AI doesn't pronounce certain words or how they might slightly mispronunciate a certain... I don't know. Did you see the the last one I did? It pronounced everything. It, it pronounced perfectly. it very, very good. But I'm saying that there are certain tells that professionals can tell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because of certain, certain <laughs> things that they're aware of that we're not quite aware of. It's... It's that type of thing. So, yeah, like I haven't seen this. Linguist, linguistic. Linguistic, yes, yeah. yeah. And they're able to pick up on that on that sort of thing. Tevi says, my voice is too different to sound like anyone else, apparently. <laughs> well, then make you're a lucky. We should, do, a AI. we should do it too. Oh, that would be so freaking funny. <laughs> oh, that would be great. We need to get Tofi's permission first. <laughs> yeah <laughs> be like we're gonna get your permission and then we're gonna make a bot he'd be like hi guys oh yep Toby. that'd be funny uh, loki says she's had people say that she sounds like me in fact we could relaunch Tofi's youtube channel with an ai do it, <laughs> <laughs> do it with an ai that would be hilarious be like, okay, we're back with the Adventures in Babylon. Actually, I forget the name. What was the name of your uh, series that you did there? I think it, I think it was Adventures in Babylon, if I recall. He had <laughs> he had a a, um, a specific. Actually, you know what? He used 
a a um text to voice to do a dialogue yes thing. but he also has that interview he did with you where he, he actually talked where he actually did real life yeah yeah uh -huh. and my other cousin owen was there too for that one we did that in a park not too far from uh from his place uh, okay yeah where we did that. <clears throat> that yeah that was that was fun he doesn't live in that same location now but um I hope he's being real quiet in the chat there but yeah <laughs> it would that would be that would be a good idea to do that we could do w one of those adventures in thing as like a tribute to the old one but then mimic a voice or a similar voice so that's what you have to do Tuffy send send me a a dialogue of you talking for like 15 minutes yeah that's all I need yeah send minutes. send of you just talking tell tell a story you tell you send a voice chat uh, tell, of telling a story to me a clip of you talking and then I'll send that or or you can just send it to King Werepire and then he will create an AI of you it and takes can, a few days to actually make that model. Oh, oh right, because you have to you have to run it over and over, right? I have to run it and train it over and over again. But yeah, right. if you give me at least fifteen minutes, I can make one. Fifteen minutes of dialogue, which would be enough to <clears throat> to get a a similar sounding voice. It's kind of funny though, eh? That you could. It was it was weird hearing myself saying things that I had never said. <laughs> it was that was rather weird. And I showed one of my friends, and he said. Wait, so this isn't you talking? I was like, nope, this isn't me talking. Okay. Oh, yeah, right there. I can kind of tell that's not you. Oh, really? Oh, Why? I don't know. He, now it's like, getting... Now, yeah, now, now but that was, that was the old one there. That was the uh, the, the Goldie McFlaps. Yeah, that's that was uh, three generations of that model ago now. Three generations ago. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. so it's been updated a little bit. Oh, no! Yeah. Somebody crashed. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's learning mannerisms now is the hardest part. Of how right, you to, say to, things. To, yeah, how how it's properly said, like how it's properly <clears throat> pronounced and stuff. Yeah, that would be that would be very difficult. If I had a forty ninety, it'd be done a lot faster. But I do not have that powerful of a graphics card, unfortunately. Oh, it's a graphics card that it uses. Mm -hmm. it uses uh, it as like the brain. Okay. <laughs> he said, "I'm good." LL. I'm good. <laughs> 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 Account just asked <laughs> asked the the um, leader when of of Rarex when it's going to end, and he she says never. <laughs> I think the last one they did lasted like five hours. Wow. If I'm not mistaken. Wow. That's yeah. I got the festive again. Really stacking up my points on the other one, but have I gotten a potato yet? No, because Ivory stole it from me. Oh, my mm. other. That's because you won't give me the travel form, so. Uh, I well, already made the deal with you. You have to give me the potato first. No, you got to give me the bird first. Well, how's that work? Then you can have a potato. Well, how about this? How about I'll give you half of the travel form now and half after I get the potato? The hell you mean half? Well, you know, I'll give her like the wings and the tail. I'll give you half a potato then. No, half a potato? How's that work? What am I supposed to do? Half, half, half a potato. potato. Half a travel form. At least, no, at least that's half stupid. a potato is a dead inanimate object of so half a bird that's gotta be that's gotta be painful fine 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 here. fine fine i'll give you just the feathers you can get the body after the potato deal you cannot just insert the feathers yourself well i mean yeah yes but think of the work i have to do i have to pluck the darn thing i mean that's not going to be easy no so... you'll just cheat and give me all the feathers that you've been using for your pillows well, Can I just have the body? The I have enough feathers already. How many feathers do you have? Do you know how many feathers you actually need to put on the bird? You want One thousand two hundred. That's how many, thousand feathers, hundred. That's how that many right? feathers she All right, actually let me has. Check my, let me check my Zor back here. Hold on. Okay. 
because that's what you need. One thousand two hundred. I highly doubt you have one thousand two hundred feathers. Oh, you think so? Huh? I think so. I think so. A. Eh? <clears throat> well, I'm sure I've sold that many feathers before. Oh, Red Fox said last year this event lasted many, many hours. The game was also a lot more unstable. Oh, okay. Well, that's good that it's more stable now. The event is outlasting me. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, nice. You got the festive bear. Cool. Pray to our Jesus. Yeah, that helps. Hey, Losting. Is the game worth playing right now? I would say yes. There are aspects of it that can be slightly tedious, but yeah. Yeah, it, it is fun. Especially when you do events like this, where you're with a big group of people and you're farming all the same enemies, trying to get loot and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Look at, how, look at all these spawns. This is insane. There's like so many spawns and they just keep going and going and going. That's that's amazing. I'm so. I going have one thousand three hundred and forty-six in my bank right now, so I got enough. Just give me the body. <laughs> you have wait how much? How much do you have? I have one thousand three hundred forty-six. You said one thousand. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Give me the give me the body. Um, I made a slight miscalculation. I actually meant fifteen hundred. <laughs> so you're so close. <laughs> you are so close. Top ranker 100. Yay. Thanks, Cyril. I feel like I'm getting scammed. <laughs> no. I wouldn't scam you. So hand over the potato. I don't have a potato. Oh, come on. I was going to trade your cards, remember? Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Wait, wait, you, why don't you just trade one card... And I'll send you a piece of the bird every time you send me one card. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> it would be easier that way. Oh, Loki just crashed again. Need to go Loki for a few lane. minutes. I need new code if it's still going when I return. Oh, okay. So um, let me see what my alt is. Who is... How much... Okay, I don't... I've only got a little bit of battery life left <laughs> on my alt. But... If I can get, oh, that's ironic. Wing 61 is my alts accounts thing. So if you're able to get into there, if you can't get into the current one that I'm in, the summon code is blue 37. Blue 37 to get into this instance. But if you can't get into this instance, wing 61 is the other one. But let me just confirm that my go-tos are on. Quite often, yep, they are. Quite have often, you they're off. Have checked how many off. eggs you have yet? How many eggs I have? Yeah, the green um, log eggs for the well, housing items. For the housing items, let me just check. I just grabbed some more, and I'm grabbing more gifts. No potatoes still. Let me drop a bird. Ah, dropped it on the top of a fool. Give me the fool. Uh, okay, so what am I checking? The your green log house eggs. Not where it is. You gotta go in the housing menu, then housing. Housing inventory. Okay. Oh, they, and they did fix the globe of lore. That's much. It looks much better now. Mm -hmm. Um. Egg, egg. Okay. So I have two. What the? Oh, sorry. Okay. I have two, ten. Ten what? How many? Uh, sorry. There's... Ten Grenwog. Twenty blue, and. Where is my yellow? Why is my yellow so far? I 44 yellow. That's it? <sighs> Apparently. Second. Well, how many do you have? Um, I have 322 yellow, 225 blue, and 164 red ones. I'm trying to max them out. I want 500 Holy each. mo! How many do you have, Ivory? Probably more than I do. Oh. Um. Let's we see. will find out. Where I think I have a chance to max out the yellows. I don't know about the other two, though. 
To max three hundred eighty-one yellows. Wow. Yeah, see, holy. Two sixty-seven blues and one eighty-one red. Wowzers. Okay. Yellows are more common, it seems. Yellows are from like frogs yards and up. Then the blues, I don't know, but they only start at a certain level, it looks like, and the reds, I think, are level 40 up, I've noticed. Oh, wow. Because <clears throat> I didn't get any reds or blues off of frogs yards, but I was getting a bunch no. of yellows. And then when I went up to yeah. like level 30 stuff, I started getting blue ones. Right. And then I went to the wasteland and then I started getting the red ones. Oh, okay. Okay, I I'd, I'd gotten all of them off of the um, chicken cow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd farmed the chicken cow a few times, and I got a couple off of there, and somebody was like, man, I'm getting a lot of eggs from that. I was going, wait, you are? I'm only getting, like, one every time I kill. But he was just meaning, like, they were dropping frequently, I guess. Mm, I've gotten quite a bit from this here today. From, yeah, me too. Yeah, from the from these things. From this spawn event, this is definitely where I've gotten the most is is from right here. So, because I don't often farm high, higher level things, so I'm not often getting the blue and the... That's why I have a lot of yellows, mm -hmm. but not the blues and reds, because I wasn't really f farming things that drop them. I'm also trying to remember to spawn. So, oh, it, that was that... Is that how it worked there, Zoom Zoom? Zoom Zoom said, did you know I dropped the first spawn and then you showed up? The Rarix instance party was full, so we just started our own. That's awesome. That's that's the way to do it. Things like that help too, because then when there's if there's an instance like this that is full and, and people can't get in, it's unfortunate because they miss out on a lot of spawns and stuff that they can't partake of. And I can't change you know, their their thing and say, okay, well, let's jump to a bunch of different instances so everybody can partake because it's not my event, so I can't run it that way. So it, it's a little bit difficult, but it, it did work out that there was a second instance. So that's, so thanks. Thanks for setting that up. And then Loki was able to let me know of that. It was also a good idea to bring my alt in as long as it's able to last. And this friend code, just as a reminder, we have one, which is blue 37, which is the main one. Oh, somebody got the gold raven head. Awesome. Oh, sorry. Gold raven Ed. And then the People other... are saying Dage is here. You see him? I don't see Dage. Yeah, I don't see him either. Wing 61. Wing 61 is the other one. Unless I'm blind, which is a huge possibility. Wait, hold on. Do Is Dage on my, on my friends list? No, he is not. Or unless I got Arctic, Blaze, Sharfade. <laughs> nope. I don't have... I've got all the other devs. I just don't have... Uh, I don't have the Blaze, because I used to be even... You mean Dage? The Dage. I said the Dage. I don't have the Dage. What did you hear? Mm -hmm. You heard you wrong. Said that you, don't, nope. you said you don't nope. have the Blaze. Nope. That's not what I said. You <laughs> heard wrong. Ivory knows I said it the right way, right, Ivory? Just say yes. Pick your side. No. <laughs> Come on. Oh, said That's it. You're grounded. <laughs> Go to your room. You're grounded. That's that's the perks of having fleet admirals. I can send them to their room. Oh, is that right? Um, no, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. I can. No, I can't. Fine, I'll get the other fleet admirals in on it then. Mm, nah. Tuffy's on that side, remember? Mm, <clears throat> darn it. Stupid Tuffy. <laughs> <laughs> Tuffy says, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. What stuff? Talking? You have no idea what talking is? Tuffy. Maybe he's talking about the Aggies? Nope. He's talking about talking. He doesn't know what talking is. Does this That's event right. require me to be at a level cap? Nope. You don't need to be any level. You could be level one. Level 27. You could be level 27. You could be any level to partake because it's... I don't know if this is a scaled area, in fact, actually. Let me check. This well, is, I don't know. This is My not a scaled... Started, though. This is not a scaled area, but it seems everybody here is level 45. 
At least everybody I'm clicking on is level 45. Let me see if I can find a lower level. Gotta click on some. I died. I have to, I have to spawn something on my alt. How long are you planning on uh, staying streaming there, bud? Oh, for another twenty-ish minutes. All right. Because I wanted to, take, I wanted to run this for roughly, roughly a two-ish hours, roughly ish. So about twenty more minutes. Blue. Oh, oh. Right. The what are the colors of that? Oh, yeah. So the, yeah, the blue, the yellow, and the um, and and the red eggs. Those those are from the Easter event. I'll be right back. All One right, minute. sir. Yeah, those are from the Easter event. And where can I farm the legendary ogre soul? Unfortunately, the legendary ogre soul is not really something you can obtain. At least not easily. It's done via live events. Not events like this. But actual live events run by developers. And those are very, very rare. They don't happen very often now. They used to happen a lot more back in the day, but... But not so much nowadays, which is unfortunate. I have pushed them to try to do it, but it, it does take development time to do events like that. So, and what's AEF really, Tuffy? I don't. Ah, look, I can't put monstrous bird. Stop you, bunch of bullies! <laughs> that is funny. But you forgot the comma in between stop. And you bunch of bullies, because the monstrous bird would obviously have proper pronunciation or grammaticization. That's a real word. You're level forty-five without a guild. <gasps> dun dun dun. Uh, the the summon code, so friend code or the summon word or whatever you want to call it is blue thirty-seven. The other one is let, let me just um check I think it's wing 61 let me confirm wing 61 yes and ivory said I don't have a good memory win your face because I do when did I say that I think you're misremembering with that bad memory of yours <laughs> see what I mean Okay, because I just started playing yesterday and I needed to get myself a travel form without paying real life money. There are definitely ways of getting travel forms without real life money. This is definitely one of the ways to do it because you can get a Gift Thulu travel form and it's not going to be very difficult to get. So yeah, definitely an event like this would definitely help you a lot in that case because it can be a little bit tricky to get a travel form without paying any. There are definite ways of doing it but yeah, this is definitely probably the easiest and fastest way to get a travel form. And pets, if you're wanting more pets as well. So much stuff I can't pick up now. Oh, right. I'm full on those. And I still don't have a potato. <laughs> oh yeah, and Zoom Zoom says he can show you. He can show you ways of getting a travel form as well. So you can add him in game if you want. Another person says you can grind for the pet. Give the Lulu travel form is gone until next year. What? No, it's not. Because you can't you get it from the as a drop? Oh, maybe maybe you can't. Maybe you can't get the Gift the Lulu travel form as a drop. I was I was thinking you could get it as a drop, but maybe it's only craftable. Let me just search that up real fast. Because I was always thinking you could get that as a drop. But maybe I'm not right about that. Time to Google. Gift Thulu. And it is. Darn it. It is not a drop. I was wrong. Was it a drop at one point? No, it was never a drop. Okay, so it turns out that I was wrong. 
you would need to craft it, which unfortunately you can't craft it. That's weird. I could have sworn. Yes, I was right. Okay, so it used to be a drop. You used to be able to get it as a drop back when it first came out. In 2020, the Gifthulu Travel Forum was a drop. As of 2023, it is no longer available as a drop. Or at least it's not showing in the, in the drop list. So you can't get it as a drop anymore, unfortunately. But at one point you were, which is why I was still assuming, because I'm kind of outdated when it comes to that sort of thing. So <laughs> sorry about that. Chicken cow, you can get a, a, a travel form from there, the chicken cow. And that's, that's only around for a week, actually. So if you are going to be going for the travel form in the social district then you would want to get on that because as of Wednesday, that will no longer be available until next year. Oh, there's also a werewolf travel form that you could get, which is not, it's not that difficult. But yeah, the chicken cow, it would definitely be your, your best bet, I would say. And let me just check my drops really fast here. I got to go grab a drink. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to spawn and then spawn. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm multitasking at the same time as streaming because I'm dropping them both. Oh, dang it. I just died. I got to respawn. Okay. And I just need to go grab a drink. So I will be right back. But I'm not going to rage like a piss horse right now because I will wait until later. I am back. Bye, Free. Cold I said, Raven. I said I'm back. You're supposed to say, welcome back. Welcome back. And uh, thank you for those lovely tunes you just shared with us. Oh, you are very welcome. And you want another good tune? The Simpsons. That's a good cartoon. That is a good cartoon. I agree with you. Ah. Oh, I got to grab those. And still no potato. Another fool. Give me the fool. Oh, my alt is dead. Every time I look at my alt screen, he's dead. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the bird or if it's the whatever else so my mobile device my like on my alt it is lagging in um the hall of awesome it's like it's sputtering and i have it set on low 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 graphics so this is laggy are you the hall lagging? of awesome is really bad for me on mobile yeah. okay okay it's worse than here's hang out for me okay so cuz i i'm noticing like it's it's like sputtering really bad on my mobile device so now i don't i don't have a high-end mobile device but i don't have a low end either it's kind of in the middle so i mean it, it's somewhat outdated but it's not like you know it's it, it wasn't like a cheap cheap version but it's definitely not a high end either so it's adequate enough that i'm able to do AQ3D without lag in a normal situation, but in a situation like this, it is lagging. And the maps, yeah, there are certain maps that really trigger it. I remember one map on mobile. This is way back in the day. Uh, it was a dungeon. Was it a dungeon? I think it was a dungeon, and it would just... Oh, no, no, no. It was um, Dragon's Graveyard. My phone would get blazing hot. 
Like I'd be playing in that area for five minutes and I would already feel my phone starting to warm up. And within 10 minutes, 15 minutes, my f like it was getting uncomfortable to hold it because it was starting to get to that level of heat. It was really bad. It was v a very oh. badly optimized map. Well, it was also older hardware back then. Got better yeah. phones now. Yeah, but it wasn't the phone because I, I could go to any other map and it wouldn't heat up like that. It was just that map that it would do that. It it got blistering hot using that map. But then since then, they, they went through and they optimized it somehow. So it must have been something on it that had not been optimized properly or something. We were pretty sure. I remember us, like there was different, one of us talking about it and we were all thinking that it was the particles because that was one of the very first maps that used particle effects to the extent that they used it because remember those little things floating around and stuff? Uh -huh. That was one of the first maps to really utilize that and I'm thinking that's what it was. They just weren't optimized, you know, the, the particle okay. system or whatever. Is that is that what you're talking about, Tofi's Legion Go? Tofi's Legion Go? Yeah, he's talking in the chat about his mobile thing. What's what's Legion Go? I don't know what that is. It's like a handheld You're PC. Oh, I don't know that. I didn't even know that he had one of those actually. Or maybe wait, was that is that the one? Is is that is that what you have now there? Tuffy, is that is that what you're using to play your games on now? Because maybe that's what you mentioned the other day on on. Uh... It's it's the same specs as the Asus Ally. Oh yeah 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 okay okay okay. So yeah, you could definitely play. Okay okay yeah 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 you'd be able to play on yeah. that. Moto G yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the same as the ROG Ally Extreme. Yeah, you could definitely. Yeah, you could play definitely every map do it. on here with with it. Yeah. Yeah, Lenovo's good too. I like Lenovo. Um, yeah, and see, Tuffy even remembers that map. His phone would get hot on that as well. I remember us talking about that too. I'm pretty sure it was Tuffy that had mentioned that had mentioned it. I I didn't really back in the day. I used to play this game a lot on mobile, but then, but nowadays I don't really. I I I prefer it on. Well, actually, back then I didn't use a controller to play on PC. And for me, PC games are hard to play with keyboard and mouse. I have a very difficult time doing that, probably because I'm left-handed and I have to do all the aiming and the shooting with my right hand. And I'm mm. not I'm not as good with that. Whereas in with a controller, I'm able to handle it more than I am with the mouse. And I think that's probably why it has something to do with be, me being a southpaw. So control was always better but that was why i used to use um the the mobile when i was playing it because i was able to use it like a controller kind of instead of having to use keyboard and mouse but then when i was able to use my controller through steam it was like oh this changes everything i need to talk to you about that after the stream too i want to know what setup you're using on steam because i was using uh i tried using one of the community made ones the other day you you can use one of the community ones because <clears throat> mine is publicly available as a community. Oh, is yours? Yeah. I was trying the right analog stick didn't go up and down, like move the camera up and down on the one I saw. And it supposedly was like one the, of the, the most The right used analog ones. stick? Yeah. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> the right analog stick. I wanted to move left and right and up and down. But then where is your <clears throat> zoom? I don't zoom in the first place, so you don't I always zoom? stay as you far zoomed it... out as possible. Uh... And I can use touchscreen to zoom in on that. On well, the, then, so uh, what, what you could do is just is just use use the um the same setup that you would have for the for the rotating. Like if you so if you grab if you grab my my copy, like grab my public public domain uh, settings, and then. Depending on what controller you have, too, actually. It's basically like an Xbox controller built on the side of this thing. Oh, then it wouldn't you Okay, so then it, you would have to use one of the other ones. Because I don't have it set up for, for the generic one. I only have it set up for the Xbox and the um, 
Yeah, it's an Xbox controller setup. It it recognizes it as an Xbox controller. Oh well, then it it, sh- it should mine should be <laughs> available there because I did set up an Xbox one a long, long time ago, back when I had an Xbox controller, which I don't have yeah. anymore. But I'll pick I'll pick your brain about it when we're doing the door. Yeah, thing this. because it's it was pretty easy to set up the original, um, yeah. one. The only difference that I I do is I don't use my joystick my right joystick i use it for the camera left and right but not up so and do down you, how do you change the camera position then yes that that's the only one for when i'm trying to do the up and down i had to do zoom had to be that because the only other zoom option i had would have been the um what you call buttons there you know the what are they called like the arrow, the arrow buttons, that would have been mm-hmm. the other, my other option, except I wanted to use those for utilizing travel forms and stuff. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And all the, all the other buttons that you have, the, the main menu, the open, the loot. <clears throat> all, so I can o- open the, all that without having to touch, you know, the keyboard when, and stuff. When I was testing AQ3D on it the other day, all I did, I was like, the settings that I was trying, I didn't really like them so mm-hmm. far. Okay. So I just put on, I changed the UI to the mobile UI and I used the touch screen. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Siri, so you were using it via touch screen. Yeah, because you can run the mobile UI on Windows if you have a touch screen and just play it like If it's you have, Android. right, right. Uh-huh. So that's what I did to do the testing the other day. It runs <clears throat> Fire M flawlessly with other apps. Wait, so you can use other apps while you're running the Fire M? That's that's really good. Yeah, it's it's literally a handheld PC. You can run Discord, and you could have YouTube playing music in the background and play a game all at the same time. Oh, wow. <clears throat> My phone is a Moto G60 G Fuel lags. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I can understand. With a Moto G60, yeah, you would definitely have a hard time in there that was my old phone i don't even know if my old phone would be i don't even think my old phone would be able to load um the whole moist verse i'm pretty sure it would be one giant lag fest i I, i'd be almost certain that it would be one giant lag fest trying to load that so yeah that would be very very bad where is this this is the hall of awesome if you want to go to us you just Go to the summon code. Use the summon code. You enter it right down here. Blue 37 or Wing 61. Both of those have spawns going on where you will get some potential loot. And you're not going to be getting the potato weapon because it doesn't want to drop for anybody except for Ivory. There's another chest. Get a chance on it. Uh, I dropped one more chest. That's my last one. That's your last chest. Okay, let's yeah, see how lucky I get. Nothing. Dang. Finally, I got the uh, potato. Whew. Uh, that was <laughs> hard. What? That was a bold face lie. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Isn't that how I would have reacted if I had actually gotten it? No, you would have been more excited. Fine. Well, <laughs> holy cow, I actually did get it this time, though. No, you didn't. But, but see, that was much more reaction, though. Oh. <laughs> it's not believable. What? You're bad. Fine. You're bad at lying. You're oh. bad liar. <laughs> okay, no, but now I actually did just get it. No, there wasn't even a gimmick up on the screen. Okay, <laughs> fine. But see, but that was believable. The way I said it, though, was very believable. It was closer. You're ah, there. okay. You're getting there. All right. That's how close I can get sometimes. It's under special areas. Hall of Awesome. Yep, that's where it is. Hall of Awesome. On the blue server, which is important. I should have mentioned that. I've heard there is housing in AQ3D already. Is it good? Yeah, there is housing, and it's amazing. But it's almost too good because it can be very hard for people who aren't creative to build something awesome. But then when you see some of the things that people have built, it blows your mind. Like, I am still jaw-dropped at some of the stuff I've seen people build. Like, the little Hobbit house, awesome. The Legion car, awesome. Like, there's just so many cool things that people have been able to build. A big giant castle thing. Well, Loki Monster actually built this big giant castle thing. And then there was um, 
Jongar, he's one of the developers, he's he's building this big giant theme park. Speaking of which, how the heck is he doing that? If there's a limit of being able to build with a certain limit, how is he able to build so much on his map? I bet you because he's a dev, he can bypass it. So he's able to bypass the limit? Um, I'm sure. Why not? He's probably has a ability to go in there and say, ah, oh, my math doesn't need 2,000 limit or 3,000 3, limit. 3,000 limit. And then so he, maybe, maybe. That, if I that's, was him, I would do it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my English is very low. That's okay. Don't apologize for that. There's there's no problem with that. The servers I use in 5M require Steam. Oh, really? And Discord? What? You have to run Steam and Discord at the same time? Yeah, because you got to talk. Oh. Steam, you have to have for 5M, I think, right? I think all 5M servers run through Steam, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. Because you have to connect your Steam account is what gives your, you your identifier your is... on the server. Okay, okay, so you have to have it linked. Okay. <clears throat> How do I get here without the code? So if you wanted to get to this map without using the summon code, then you'd go into your adventures menu, you'd go into world areas, and all the way at the bottom special locations and then it's right where is it right here hall of awesome there's also lots of other locations you know what i want to do i want to set up a battle on zombies <laughs> event oh yeah it's been a while since you did that huh? yes i used to love doing those it's been a long time since i've done one of those still no potato Arr. Yeah, I would like I want to do, do a I want to do a PVP event where stats actually matter. Like in a, one of the houses, like a big arena. Mm. Cuz you're you don't get scaled there, right? Mm -hmm. So like if you come no, in scaled. with your haste gear versus attack gear. So you, you we should set work. that up. Yeah, we <laughs> should set that up. That would be an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. Come in what? with your best stats and see what happens. What weapon is it you say no one got? Uh, the potato weapon. <clears throat> the potato weapon is a low drop, like a very low drop, probably as low as my birds. Oh, somebody just got it. Oh, no, never mind. He said no potato. Sorry. And so basically it drops from the fool's gimmick, these monsters right here, the fool's gimmick, but it's an extremely low drop rate, so very, very hard. Yeah, that's nice they increased the the item cap in, in maps so that people can build even more. Because that would be very, very nice. GR, I always miss your spawns due to time zones. I'm from Europe. Would it be possible to host them a bit sooner? Well, I, I didn't host this one. This was a um, invitation someone had invited me to, and it worked out well because I didn't have plans during this time. So that was why. But I do try to do spawns in in the morning my time, which would be better for your time. So they're not usually quite this late. But it just it depends on my availability as well. I also usually try to let people know ahead of time, but things have been kind of hectic lately. So I didn't really get the announcement out on this event until like last minute. And largely because I told the fleet admirals to post stuff and they didn't know what I was talking about, which is also my fault. But we'll, we'll just blame Tuffy. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just blame your cousin on everything. <laughs> well, we've got to have a scapegoat. It's either Tuffy or Ivory. So we could... it's, def it's definitely not me. Okay, fine. So it's Tuffy. No, it wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yep, Steam <laughs> Steam to run GTA and Discord to chat, and sometimes whitelist servers use Discord for security check. Oh, for verification. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You just get some skull stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. You you'll get. There's all kinds of different drops you can get from these things. Multiple different drops. Not to mention the tokens, which are also important to pick up because you can get. You can craft stuff with them when those shops return. Some of the stuff you get, some of the tokens you get, like the Gift Thulus, you can't turn those in until next year, but 
but that's fine. It's still, at least you can get them. What is the room code? Uh, the <laughs> summon code is blue 37 and wing 61. There's two different ones because there's two different rooms currently going. So you can get someone like me to come and build your house soon. Wait, that's true because there's there's going to be a friend a friend thing, which is great because I'm just going to be like, "Okay, who hey. wants to build a house for me and make it awesome but make it so that people can spawn things there?" Yeah, I'm excited for the have your friends help you build thing. Yeah. That Yeah, that's... me too. Can't wait. Yeah, me too because I'm just going to make you guys build my stuff for me. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, you guys go build. I'm gonna pay Loki. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? So you can hire people to build that. Like, how good are you at building? Okay, I'm gonna hire you to build this thing. How much AP for this? <laughs> yeah. How much are takes points that would you take to build this thing for me? Yeah. Trades for services. Go. Trades yep. for services. That's what it is. Exactly. Uh, this one was okay actually today, but you mostly do them like two or three hours from now. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. This this one was done in a, a little bit of a better time. But it's, it's uh, again, this isn't my event. This was set up by the Rarex Guild, and I just was invited to partake. So I decided to do that since I had the availability. Yes, Tuffy gave us permission. To do what? He said that we can blame him. So. Oh. So there we go. Okay. Oh, you're going to have an Egyptian pharaoh build. No, uh -huh. he's, he, oh. no he's going to oh, be the pharaoh. <laughs> you're going to be the pharaoh. I see. That's <laughs> not cool. <laughs> Make us do all the work. Is that it? You better meet up with Cleo. She'll tell you all about how to do that. Cleo? Get it? Oh. Cause she, yeah, because she's Cleopatra. <laughs> Cle Cleopatra. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is sucky. It was. It was a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> but I like bad jokes, so. That's why I like those, dad jokes. It's those corny jokes. Yeah, corny jokes. <gasps> oh, I can't get any more. That means I'm out money wait a minute if my inventory is full that means i can't pick up the potato you got to get out of here i cannot have you in my did they fix the inventory, inventory bug yet uh well hold on, let me tell you let me tell you right now nope <laughs> nope, nope. Didn't. all nope. right cool i'm at level uh, one 136 i'm capped out but i still have room in my inventory because i have what do you mean 126 uh no 136 Oh, yeah, you got the Kickstarter thing, so you have 10 extra. That's right. Yes. Well, Mine caps out at 124. <laughs> Mine caps out at 127. Right yeah. I, I think it's because of the moments, eh? It's got to be, huh? Yeah. But the moments are tokens, so I don't understand how that's I know, I, and issue. they don't they don't, con they don't don't take part of your inventory. That's what I don't understand, but it has to be because that's the only— Maybe it's the that's teleporters. The only... Maybe the teleporters, when they change how the inventory system works, oh, don't count anymore. But and still maybe access. they actually count. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Because I got a few of those in my inventory. Me too. I don't have six of those, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's something else. Well, maybe it it's is. It's got to the... be something. They changed something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, so enough. if I, if I have 36, that means that if I have four, let me check how many moments I have. Uh, I have a ton of moments. Right, and I'm talking about extras. I have one extra oh. there. I have no extras there. No extras there. Delete your extra stack. Oh, and see if I have one. two extras there, so that's three in total. Four, five, six. What? Uh, okay, now I don't get it. I have, yeah. I have way more that goes over the cap, so... I should have like ten inventory items that aren't available. That should that should be locked. So yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's Skate. really weird though. I hope they fix it soon. I hope so too. Yeah. Oh, somebody just got the Raven pet. But oh, yeah, never mind. They they already had it. And somebody else said your bird is laying Grenwog eggs 
Oh, Skade. Skade said your bird is laying Grenwog eggs. <laughs> I just thought you should know. <laughs> <laughs> I should send her the gold you may flap a lot story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see what she thinks about that. Yeah. Oh, Red Fox says she's capped out at 139 out of 140. So it's not the teleported items. Oh, and she asked she asked Clarion, he confirmed it's not. Okay. So it is what a multi stack bug. Okay. Yeah. What is what is bug? It's annoying. If I knew what it was, I would delete it immediately. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it is mm-hmm. aggravating. Aggravating. Well, exactly. Aggravating. Yeah. If if you know, if you were actually capable of doing it. Right. right. Like <laughs> Loki yeah. says, I could build a a giant tree with a nest. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, that map I have called My Nest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I was thinking about making a nest with the wooden planks, like squishing them down, making them look like twigs, mm-hmm. and then putting some of these eggs inside of it. <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. Oh, look, he has a giant... Oh, Oh, on Minecraft. Okay, you have a giant hollow tree on Minecraft. Okay. There's so many different items that they can release for housing that would be freaking awesome to have as housing items. Name it planned birdiehood. The house. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't know about (laughs) that. (laughs) That's a controversial topic. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> so I know what I want f- for the center you can have one big giant pot plant right in the middle of the of the thing <laughs> and then I'll get I banned uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know the list. <laughs> I'll be like hey I didn't build it somebody who had permission to build on my map built it <laughs> Be like, why did I get banned for having it? Yeah, really, that's a problem I didn't think of. You could like <laughs> make something somewhere on your friend's house, but yep. they don't see it. You give them permission, they don't even know about it. You walk in, uh, there's a swastika on my like I didn't put that there. <laughs> a giant middle finger. <laughs> a giant middle finger sitting right there. <laughs> and be like, um I did not do that. <laughs> wow, my bird hates my alt. He just keeps killing my alt over and over. That's not very nice, eh? No. Nope. You need to sit him down and have a talking to. I blame Tuffy. He said it was okay, so. Mm-hmm. Skate said this even sucks her batteries down. It, this actually does. Um, let me just check my. Yeah, yeah. My, I'm like. My NPC. My NPC. My NPC. My alt account is. Moments from being disconnected from uh, battery. Death of the battery. Accounts asking when you're going to do your housing for competition thing. My housing what? The thing you posted in AF for people to share their houses and you start putting them in your videos. Oh, when am, when am I going to be showing the houses? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Is he talking about the, the, uh, the contest? Or I don't the... know. If he's talking he about said the contest... housing tour competition, so I was assuming. Com- oh, competition! You're gonna, you're no, no, gonna that, that's that's houses. the one. That's the one with the competition is the um, with Guardian Belzebub. Right, but your other one, you said you're doing. Tours yeah, 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 but that that, that I'm I'm doing I'm doing that. That's going to be like its own video. It's not a competition. I'm just right, I'm just going to be I showcasing. Think he's mixing the two. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so the the showcasing the house thing, that's just showcasing players' houses just for fun. The other one, which is the actual competition, me and Belzebub will be jumping in the game together and going through and uh, and checking out checking out the the uh, houses. So we'll be doing that this coming week. So I'm not sure exactly when we haven't set up the time, but yeah, it'll definitely be this week that we do it. Got the Legion Drinking Travel Forum. Cool. Wait, what? You get the Drinking Travel Forum? Oh, my game finally crashed. That's as funny. A, oh, really? Wow. I, I didn't. So you can get a Travel Forum as a drop. So you lied, Ivory. 
What? Ivory lied. About what? Say what now? Remember when you said that there was no travel forms that were dropped at this event? That would be when you said that. No, I didn't say that. I said the Gift Thulu travel form isn't dropped. And then you said, is. no, it's not. No, it's not. Uh huh. <laughs> but you thought it was, I didn't, didn't say you? Anything. Does the Gift Thulu not drop its own travel form? No, not apparently, anymore, no, apparently not. I thought it did because it used to, and that's why I was telling I was telling one of the newer players who said that he wanted to get a free travel form, and I said, "Well, there's no problem. You can get an easy one here, the Gift Thulu travel form." But it doesn't drop anymore. They stopped dropping it last year. Oh, what? So you yeah. have to go buy it with the token so then you have to buy it with the tokens, which means that he can't get you it. You gotta wait until Christmas. So you gotta wait until Christmas <laughs> to get that. And I was going, "What? That's it used so to be dropped." I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess, because it does already have a lot of drops and stuff. But, but you can get a travel form because somebody said they got the travel, the Drickin travel. I, wait, I didn't even know the Drickin had a travel form. It's, it's from the, Legion. the Legionnaires. Oh. Yeah, it's not from Gift Food. Uh, it's from the Legionnaires. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, that's that's nice. So at least you know we caught Ivory in a lie. At least, so that's good. That's a win-win. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, well, maybe win. Change your name to Ivory. Yeah. It's um. Today. People say imitate imitation is the highest form of flattery. That is true. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> imitation is the highest form of flattery. Serious question: When house tour competitions start? Oh, that that's one you already said. Yeah, that would be this week. We'll be doing that this week. Legionnaires can drop two drink and travel forms, but super rare. Okay, that's why I didn't get them. So, okay. Well, anyways, thanks for confirming Ivory's lie. That's good to know. Do you have a guild tax on your guild? Because I have returned to the game and I'm looking for the guild and things are looking kind of different. Yeah. Yes. I do have a guild tax on our guild. Depends on the size of your guild would vary what you want to have for your guild tax. So for us, we have 5%. Because that might be changing soon. It, it seemed balanced, but apparently they're going to be changing it pretty soon because, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not the only leader of my guild, thanks to Ivory and King Werepire, who are also co-leaders with me because of a <laughs> hack that they did that I disapproved of and didn't want to be any part of, but you they did, did the it. whole showcase on it. What are you talking and about? now <laughs> we have three talking? leaders of AE Federation. Uh, <laughs> tell ya. They make me do all these things. I made a whole things. video on it because I was so upset. Yeah, yeah, I had to so make a whole video on how upset I was about them forcing me to do that. So, yeah, it was... Forcing you to do that? Well, maybe not forcing know. me, but basically making me do it without me wanting to, but... <laughs> yeah, okay. That's how <laughs> it is in life. <laughs> the weak people get trampled on by the people who have all the power, which is Ivory and King Werepire. So, <laughs> I wonder if anybody's else figured out how to do it yet. I haven't told anybody. No, I haven't told anybody. Not a soul. I'm waiting. One figures it out. Please spawn Blaze. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have that that thing. The fire thing. One of my uh, mod friends actually does have fire ones, but they never spawn them because I never see them in the game anymore. I don't even know if they play, honestly. I don't even know if they... Which one? A uh, Draconic. Let me just see if I... I No, I don't even have them on my friends list. So... That sucks. I don't even that know sucks. if he's playing anymore. My guild, my guild is seventy six players. Uh, so, how much would you suggest? Uh, it would vary on their activity, but definitely not more than five percent. It would yeah, be for hard. a while we did five percent, but it seems like since there's kind of a lull in content, we're eating more than we're taking in. We're, we're eating more than we're taking in. So we're probably gonna have to bump it up. A you might have bit. to bump it up. I would say I would say five percent. It also depends on which buffs you're trying to do too. Like if yes. you don't care about yes, having the that's max true. buffs. Depending on what you are using for for the buffs. So uh, that that would also be key because depending on what your level is, you're able to unlock more and more. So if you're trying to do like let's say guild 
attack boost, that's 200,000 right there mm-hmm. that you would need out of your amount. So it can eat up the amount of credits you have very, very... Yeah, yeah, Draconic Nightmare, that's the one. Um, the, it, yeah, it can eat up your 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 credits very, very fast. So it can vary on the activity level of your players and how frequently you use your boost, which ours is very frequent. So I think I guess that's why the guild leaders are talking about, or the guild officers are talking about adjusting it. So you could try it at 5%. Or... I think 5% is good when there's a lot of people farming because there's new content out. And then a lot of people farm. Okay. Like when there's a lull and you need to keep funds up, you got to bump it up a little bit. You have to bump it up a bit higher. Okay. So I think I think for it, for yeah. a guild with 76 members, again, depending on the level of activity and the frequency of your boosts, 5% would probably work well. So yeah. doing it too, because if you do it too high, you're taking gold away from them and then it's not really being utilized and they're not gaining a benefit from it. So you got to. Also be... depends how many times you're going to pop them too. Like if you're EU and all your guild members are EU, you could get away with only doing it during active times. Right, right. You could do it during. If you the have a mixture times. like us, we pop it all day. We'll pop one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one before. Exactly. Reset. Yeah, yeah. That's that's exactly. <sighs> that's where it could be. Become... Try to get as many people to have the boost as possible, and it gets expensive real quick. It, it gets expensive because of the frequency of, of uh, boosting it, and, of course, what the boosts are as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it would it would definitely depend. But, I, yeah, I think 5% would be okay for now for something. Uh, not for us. I'm talking to him there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an alt in a guild with 50% tax. Yeah, Ooh. don't know what they were smoking. Oh, it must have been indigo because, geez, that's... That I is... mean, I have heard of some guilds doing a weekend where they say, hey, well, they, we're going to do a guild really farm high? weekend. Yes, yes, yes. They, so they set it for one day right. really high. At, at, a, at a whopping high number? Up. Okay. Yeah. I, I saw some, somebody posted something. that on Twitter, showed a screenshot, and I was like, who the frig would do that? But it was just for a 24-hour period. And I was yeah, like, they literally oh. did a, a guild gold farming event. So yeah. they just farmed out all the gold for their guild, so they have a stockpile. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was pretty smart. It's, idea it's too, actually it is it is a, a clever idea, and it actually that might actually be something maybe we could potentially do. You know, we were like, almost at seventy million. Now we're down to fifty, and, and million, it, so it, it dropped dropping. down. Right. So yeah. maybe, maybe that's something we would do. It'd be like, okay, guys, we're gonna do this thing. So if everybody can jump in within this day and for twenty four hours, we're gonna run it at. A hundred percent. So you're not going to get any gold. It's going to only go to fifty percent. You, oh, you, you can only go to fifty. Okay, so it, only, it can only cap it at fifty, and then yeah, do it as much as you can. You know, farm as much as you can. Try to get. Well, maybe we should do that. I had heard about that, but I just I was thinking that's ludicrous to do that. But if it's only for you know that limited time, I guess it does make kind of do it like once every month or every two months maybe. Once every two months, have like a, a guild boost day thing. Yeah, that that's. But to keep it at fifty percent, wow, that would yeah, be that's, that's that would ridiculous. be ridiculous. Yeah, I would definitely not do that unless everybody in the guild has a hundred mil already sitting in their inventory, right? And everybody agreed to it, then and like, and they it. all yeah, they were all like, no problem. We got a lot of money. Where can I use Captain Crisp tokens? I don't think that's available right I think now. It's talk like a pirate day, or was it? Yes, yeah, I think you like you have day. to wait until September to use the tokens. So basically, any token that you're going to be getting from this event, these ones here you can only use in March. These ones here you can only use during um, Frost Veil, which is December, December, January. These ones here you can take right away because you don't need them. These ones here you can use in September during the Pirates thing. And yeah, these are March. And then these are currently available. You can use the April Fool's gold coin anytime right, right now. It's not gonna next week. That's gonna be gone as well. So you've only got one week to do that. Ooh, somebody get the Legion drinking with daggers, which I don't need. Oh, okay, that's sucky. I I'm missing the other one. I'm missing the other one. I I don't have the other. Uh... You know what though? This is insane. I I'm I'm looking on the on my alt account. There's still like a whole bunch of spawns going off there too. Like as many as here. 
That's good. Yeah, that's amazing. This is we've been running now for over two hours on this. We've been running. We've been pushing this now for over two hours, and there's been consistent spawns in two different lobbies. So if you guys are missing out on this, you've got uh, Wing sixty one and what was mine? Blue thirty two. Blue thirty seven. No, blue thirty seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remembered it because of the blue thirty two, though. That's why. So blue thirty seven, wing sixty one. If you're still trying to get into one of those, hopefully one of those would be available to get into. But that's that's pretty good. Uh, no, this was all the time. Okay, so it was all the time that they had it set at fifty percent. Wow. Yeah. No, that's that is nuts. Definitely. The event's already gone, but it still drops the cost. Met. Oh, oh, you're telling the other guy. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So. Remnants are still usable. Wait, Legion Soul Remnants are still usable? Oh, okay. I, I thought that NPC was gone. I thought he was gone too. Maybe I know he's... the collection NPC is still there. The, the collect... If you have the collection, or you can buy the... Can you use the things from that NPC? I don't think you can use the... No, I didn't think so. But may maybe you could still use the Legion. Uh, where Where is that, Red Fox? Where would you use the Legion Soul Remnants? And do you know NPC when your next gone. spawn event will be? Do I know when my next spawn event will be? I don't. I would probably say... I, I, I'm not sure, honestly. I, I, I could try to give a date, but then if I don't hit that date, I'll feel bad because I lied. Oop. There's a lull in, in this spawn. So you admit you lied. <gasps> No, I me. said I won't want. I don't want to tell him a date because I don't want to lie. See. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure. Now she's trying to get me to lie. See, that's what Ivory does. Because well, she's a compulsive she liar. She was gaslighting me about a loofah the other day. I was wow. not. Wow. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> He was being mean to the loofah, okay? He uh, said before I bought my loofah, all the warehouse workers where they made it used it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I did like, not. That's disgusting. <laughs> I did not say that. Oh my gosh, I did not say that. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> drop the guardian class, that would be nice. Being able to drop a class. <laughs> Definitely not missing out. Oh, well, that's good. Maybe I am misremembering and it was removed last week. Yeah, I think it's been removed for a while. The the Legion thing. Don't type that. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> but you're gonna talk. You're talking to her. Don't type that. I was gonna read something and I was like, ooh, whatever. I shouldn't read that out loud. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Where? What? In the no, chat? Nothing. Oh, no, in my chat. My chat. Is oh, my... your chat. Don't worry, don't worry about it. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, you're trying to say inappropriate things. Don't, don't, don't. We caught him on a live stream. I'll tell you something inappropriate. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, you're going to have as bad a potty mouth as Ivory. <laughs> What? I do not have a potty mouth. <laughs> it took you that long to respond to that. <laughs> I was muted. I had to unmute. <laughs> oh, excuses, excuses. It's not my fault it's laggy in here. That's true. Okay. I'll give you credit for that. <laughs> Quit right after I realized they're not going to fix most of the game. There's, there's uh, definite issues where it comes with certain bugs and stuff, but it's almost like some of them can't be fixed on certain things because I've encountered certain bugs that have been issues for a long time but they fix it and then something happens and it breaks again like some of these bugs have been fixed but then they end up repeating because of one small change which is kind of funny how it works because you'll have an issue where something breaks and it gets fixed right away, but when they fix that particular bug, it breaks something else that had previously been fixed. So it's almost like a ricochet effect 
of changing one line of code impacts all the other lines of code, which is really weird. But it, this isn't the only game that does that. There's a lot of games that have issues in regards to that. But you got to remember, when this game was created, it was originally started by people who had no clue on 3D coding. Like this was this was a brand new thing that came out based a lot of the people working on it were Flash developers and Flash is way different than Unity. So the learning curve is extremely steep. Surprisingly, you know, it worked fairly well considering the amount of issues that they had at launch. But it's been it's been slowly getting better and better optimized. I was still kind of sad that the uh, web version of it never. Stayed y- yes, the idea of having the web would have been really, really cool, and and I understand the reason behind it as well. Like the web, the web GL or whatever it was called. That that I think that would have been really, really cool to see that. There are games that do utilize it, but not games of this caliber. Mm. So it's it's unfortunate because that would have been pretty cool. Tuffy, don't go. Brr. He says, Ivory, that's my bestie. <laughs> yes, we know that. Thank you, Tuffy. <laughs> I'll just leave my stuff alone. <laughs> 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 she won't listen to me. She won't to me. <laughs> Tuffy can tell her. She'll be like, okay. Um, is the nice. is the talents of Raven Cape <laughs> rare? Uh, no, the talents of Ra- well, I mean, it's rare ish, but the talents of Raven Cape is a five percent drop rate, whereas in everything else is lower than five percent. So it's kind of rare, but it's the wings, the travel form, and the pet that are really hard to get. And my alt is literally on his lap legs. I'm going to have to just do two more spawns and I'm going to have to log this guy out because the phone is, I mean, I'm surprised it's not dead yet, to be honest. So I'm going to drop a couple birds on my alt account and I'm going to have to wrap the stream up as well. This game would have been 10% better if the Necromancer summon always aggroed the mobs, but the mobs always switch target. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. When the Necromancer class came out, I absolutely loved it. It was so cool to have this thing where you could summon actual monsters. So I thought that was really, really great. And I would have used it way, way more than I have used it. But the issue that you just pointed out is exactly why I never really used it that much. Because I would have a specific enemy targeted, but it wouldn't attack that enemy. It would target another one, which was very, very irritating because that's not what I was trying to do. So yeah, I I definitely, I understand exactly where, where you're coming from. I can definitely agree with that. I am looking forward to the new class though. The Oracle... I don't really know why they're holding off on it, to be honest. I don't know. It works pretty good on the PTR. It, it worked fine when I tried it. And it was like, okay, it's good to go. Pop it out. Let's get that baby out there and let's get three more classes out there. Like, I don't I don't yeah. see the hesitation on classes. Honestly, AQ World has hundreds of them. Let's just throw out the classes. Yeah, fix them later if they're broken. Fix them later. Yeah. Get them out there. <laughs> if there's little small issues, you got to adapt. them. They're going to do it anyways. So mm-hmm. they, they did it with all the other classes. They come out like Samurai. Sam, Samurai came out perfect form, and then they went and screwed it up. I mean, I still use the heck out of it. I love Samurai, but it was better before. And, yeah. y- you know, like they, they, they nerfed it anyways. So it's like you're going to nerf it, so you might as well just launch it now so we can use it. Do the same thing with the other mm-hmm. classes. You're going to be doing adjustments to them anyways. So at least it gives us another class to use, you know? So I say the more you can't go wrong with a class, even if it comes out and people go, this is a stupid class. They're still going to use it because it's a different, it's a new class. They're going to want to level it up and wow, look at that guy. He's got a good setup. And when are they going to 
<clears throat> come out with like the old AQ class classes. We need, we need the vampire class. And the Ooh, werewolf, class. werewolf. Yes, I would love to need, see uh, that. Wasn't there a fighter class on that too? Um, if I'm not mistaken. It was like an armor that you would put on instead of classes, but you know. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> that I mean, yeah, that would be epic if they came up with some of those original, like OG. Mm-hmm. OG classes. It's me, Loki? What? I don't get it. Uh, the head, the head is rare. Yeah, the head, the head. I don't know what the percent of the head is, but it is definitely a lot lower than the other ones. Does this drop the Gold Raven travel form? The, yeah, my bird drops the Gold Raven travel form. But good luck, because I mean, there's been some people that have been trying to get it for a long time, and it is not easy. Apparently, Arctix is here. No, I don't think so. Oh, they're trolling again. Yeah, no, no. He's, oh, I, I can tell you. I'll tell you right now if he's online. Nope, he is not online. Last time he was online, he was in Darkhurst. So Artix is not here. But it's also it's Sunday, so he wouldn't be here anyways. He'd be with his family. Oh, my guy died. Apparently, how did my guy die? Uh, one more spawn on my alt, and then I'm gonna have to log my alt out because he's lagging like a. Mother Parker. There like we go. What, okay. Whoa. How did I get 20? Uh, let me just check what those are. 20 of those. Skill zero animation not found on Hollow Raven's monstrous bird. Oh. No way. Cool. Every single time I did that. That's why there's so many of those. Holy moly. So oh, yeah, what? There's no there's no um animation to my skills <clears throat> on the bird. So every single time I summoned the bird, it would send a message that there was no animation <clears throat> running through That's it. Weird. Yeah. And it's it's triggered as a <laughs> as a that's funny. I didn't. I didn't realize that it would be such a. Um, I don't know, Im Im important thing. I guess, but I, I, I guess it makes kind of sense because I, I suppose it is triggered as a monster, right? So it would make sense that it does trigger. Like, uh oh, the animations aren't working on this monster properly. That's what the game is essentially telling them. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So it makes sense that it is popping it up as an alert that warning, warning, no animations, but it doesn't matter for, for the bird. I actually, I didn't want any animations on the bird. Not that I didn't want any animations. That's not true. I wanted animations, but it takes a lot of time to do animations. They need to be manually injected and all the rest of it. And since there was no original animations for the bird to create attack animations for it would be time consuming it takes away from development time so i decided in order to get the bird released when i had the bird released it was to go with no animations that way it'd make it much easier on the development team so that it wouldn't take away from any actual you know development of the game just to get an item in for just a regular guy so i figured it'd be a little bit easier that way so my alt is now offline so the, the other one still had people there, but the second instance where I had Wing 61, the summon code Wing, Wing 61, is no longer available because my uh, alt is now, my, my phone is, is dead. So, but I was able to do it as much as possible. I'm actually going to be wrapping up the stream and calling it quits myself because it's starting to roll into the evening. How old is the PC? My PC is pretty old now. Windows 95. <laughs> what? What are we doing here? Somebody said Windows 95. Windows 95. That's that's a that's a good uh, a good window. Okay, I'm I'm missing a lot of content here. Drop to the time perform. Holy mother of Tuffy, why'd you say holy mother of? Thanks again for hanging out. Oh, you are very welcome. I'm glad I was able to. 
Also, they should remove the limit for the summon. They don't need to be tied to the cooldown. Just make the HP base specifically with the grand summons. So the time limit thing, which I, I kind of agree with. I think it could be bumped down a little bit, but it's just so that people wouldn't spam. That that was the major issue was, was people spamming spawns on top of somebody. So that's why the time limit is in place. So you can't spawn kill people or like you're seriously because otherwise you'd be able to spawn like 20 of them in a row which could cause major lag and major issues on certain maps so that's essentially why they did that that's also why when you spawn something there's a timer thing which indicates not not the spawn timer but the timer on the boss where actually let me just target my boss here for a second I mean, my bird right here and right down here in the debuffs, you would see a debuff that tells you it's going to die in a certain amount of time. So my bird is the only summonable monster that doesn't have that because I asked to have that removed so that my birds could stay there infinitely, like in unless I remove it myself. Otherwise, they will stay there. But every other summon has that, and that's another way of preventing people from abusing the spawns but it's actually you know thinking about it how many games allow you to to host your own events by having spawns there's i mean there can't be that many are there oh mm, my game crashed I like i i can't <clears throat> think of any other game that does that where players can actually host their own events i can't think of any other game this is the only game i know AQ world you can't host your own events so that's kind of crazy my game crashed by the way so just to let you know, I'm going to wrap up my my stream. But I just wanted to catch up with the other things. What they do to the samurai? So the samurai, what they did with the samurai was they nerfed it because it was a little too powerful. Even though it was intentionally as powerful as it was supposed to be. But then people in PvP complained and so it got nerfed. So that's largely what happened to it. It's still a good class. I still really enjoy the class, but it was funner before. Got nerfed because of skill issues. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> that's basically it. They, and they weren't good enough to beat it, so they cried about it. I I need them to make healer better. Um, so healer is good, but healer is a starter class so essentially you are going to upgrade from healer to moglomancer or to the oracle or to some other class it's essentially it's just meant to be to get you off of the the base classes warrior rogue uh, those are not classes you're intending to use the rest of the game it's just something you would use up to a certain time and then you would unlock mid-tier classes and then higher tier classes although they haven't been really been doing that i mean you got berserker but samurai should have been in the in tier three i mean rogue takes out berserker in a 1v1 yeah <clears throat> so i mean i don't know yeah that's I'm true that one. In, in a pvp situation yeah. but overall farming berserker is better depends what you're farming i guess Depends if you're farming a single target boss, I would go rogue. Then still. rogue rogue would be better for a single target boss. Yeah. You're but right. if you're talking about groups, then Zerker and Warrior would do better. I really hate Ranger. the recent ish shadow nerf to samurai. Was there a shadow nerf to samurai? I didn't know that actually. I keep hearing this, but I don't know what they're talking about. I, I'm I'm not sure. Even, even if I did get confirmation on that, I probably wouldn't be able to share it, but I, I'm not I'm not sure if there was on that or not. I lost my place. Where was that? Okay, there. Uh, what about a Dragon Lord skin for Necromancer? That would be awesome. See, now that's another thing is class skins is another thing that I'm really hoping they're going to be pushing more of those because there's a hundred eh. opportunities. No, I, it would be. I would argue on that one because the Dragon Samurai one was lackluster. Yes, but that that's what I'm talking about. But what came out after that? Pizza Mancer? 
Yeah, but the Curse Mage is even better than the Dragon Samurai. The Dragon Samurai is, ooh, let me change yes. these skills that you can barely see. That's my see point. GD Dragon yellow. Samurai did absolutely nothing. <laughs> it was literally just a visual change. But Pizza Man so really changed it. It showed that a class like that... Like, I, I, I wouldn't really play Mancer, but then when the Pizza Mans came out, I was going, holy crap, these skills look epic. I would use this class because they look epic. Even if I don't like Mago, I'm not a fan of Mancer, but I would actually use it because of those skills. They could do that with the other classes. They had a Necromancer, but instead of summoning skeletons and a big giant thing, you're summoning a dragon pet or, you know, some kind of dragon, and then, like, a big who who knows like but they could really change it up so it's all about the animations not the skills behind it mm. like they could essentially do that and classes could be next level just like it was for pizza mancer but it's i don't know they haven't really been targeting that and there's a lot of opportunities to to use them i mean how many mages could you have you could have an ice mage like instead of having meteors fall you have this big giant chunk of ice come out of the ground and throw the opponent away or who knows like the animations could go complete not so if they really pushed that that level so I, I see class skins as being something huge but unfortunately they don't which is really unfortunate because i really see that being a selling point for classes <laughs> somebody says i literally use he, still use healer yeah yeah i still use healer in situations as well it's, it's still a good class uh, even as a starter it's still a good class so, I mean, yeah. healer is S class in PvP. Yeah, and healer can. It's it's because it's a great support class, one of the best out there. The extra roasted drinking video I posted seven years ago. You posted that seven years ago. Holy cow! I did not realize it was that long ago. That that is a long time. They could market this game if the type. Tier 2 hypothetical Necromancer class is Shadow Monarch. Uh, that would be awesome. That sounds like a cool skin. We need a Death Knight class that mixes Warrior with Necro. Okay, so the Shadow buff, <clears throat> the, the, sorry, sorry, the Shadow nerf to the um, Samurai was the Breath of the Wind stacks. It, the, it, they removed the Breath of the Wind stacks haste buff. That had been there before. That's apparently the shadow nerf. Is there something what? new about the Guardians? Because I was away from the game for a year. There, there's been new stuff added to the Guardians. I did do a video not... if So if you haven't been playing the game in over a year, I did do a video not that long ago, just a few months ago, regarding Guardian. You could check that video out because it would tell you any anything new that Guardians get access to because they got a bunch of new stuff. So you could check that out. Summon stone golems. That would be awesome. Being able to summon stone golems. We didn't even get the original. Yes, that was another thing I was pissed off about with the samurai. I, like I was really looking forward to samurai, especially when Blaze showed me it in, in, in use. It, I, it blew my mind. And it was, it was roughly, uh, loosely based on the original, original rogue class. Because the original, original rogue class had a nuke. It was designed based on the AQ World classes, and some of the AQ World classes have a nuke where you can hit massive amounts of damage, but you need to stack it and then hit the massive nuke. And I loved the original Rogue because you would stack it up, stack up the poison, and then blast him with... And it wasn't the ultimate, it was just another skill you would use, but you needed to stack. And the more stacks you had, the higher you would hit. It was a really fun class to use, but you had to hit that nuke in order to really, you know, for the class to be effective. But it was a wicked fun trying to get stacked. I even made a whole video on who could get the biggest nuke. It was a lot of fun. But then it got changed and they ruined Rogue. Well, not ruined it, but I mean, they completely changed it. To make it to the, the rogue it is now. So when Samurai came out, it came out with a nuke. And that's what I was really excited about Samurai. But the, the armor that they came out for the Samurai looked amazing. I was so looking forward to having that. And then they came out with the current one we have. Which did not look at all like the original Samurai that we had been teased. So I was really upset about that. I have not farmed any of the Samurai cosmetics because I would never use them because 
it wasn't what we were promised. So I was really disappointed with that. That was that was really sad. The buff from attacking with samurai still mentions two percent damage and four percent haste, yet we only get the damage, no haste. Huh. I did not know that. That is very interesting. I had no idea. That's that's unfortunate. That's there's another reason why samurai's gone downhill. I just say, give us back our old samurai. That's what we need. That'd be much better. Well, that's it for the stream. I'm going to be wrapping this up. The event is still going. So if you guys are on the blue server or able to get onto the blue server, you'll still be able to farm it. But this stream has been going over two hours. So I'm going to be wrapping it up. I, ha I haven't logged back into the game because my game crashed. So it's unfortunate. But it is what it is. So it was a lot of fun. Do you guys have fun? Yeah, good time. Ivory? Give her a second. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she had to go click, click. Uh, the thing is so funny. It's still top tier. Oh, yeah. Samurai is definitely still top tier. It's definitely the way the way to go. I still love Samurai, but it's just, it could be better. It's like, give, make Oracle's it the best. going to blow Samurai away. Oracle is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to having that in the game. I hope it comes sooner than later, but who knows? Fingers crossed. They've got it on the list at least. It looks like it's going to be hitting in May, early May, or maybe even late April. So we'll, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Fast XP and gold, is this still the best method to farm? It's your video a month ago. Oh, if, if it's from a month ago, then yeah, I would still say that would still work. If that's from a month ago, then yeah. Yeah, and if that's the Nulgath one, then that will definitely still work. If that's the one I think it is, then yeah, the that dragons. Well, the well the dragons, and it shows all the other methods mm -hmm. for Nulgath. But I th I think if that is what I think it is, then that that definitely. But if it's from a month ago, then yeah, it uh, it definitely would still be valid. Anything within the last, I'd say, three four months would still be valid. As far as I know. But, well, that's it. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the stream and partaking of the event. Hope you guys got some good loot from it. I did get some stuff, but not what I was really hoping to get, which was a potato. And it's all because of potato. ivory. Her. I thought it was toffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. It's, well, well. Toffee? No, no, no. It's a little bit of both. I'd say. It's King Pyre's fault. What? No. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. Actually, we all know the truth. But it's really GR's fault. Oh. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, he won't drop the pet or the trial for him. So. <laughs> exactly. He doesn't get potato. That's, karma. Uh, that's, yeah. that's why. It's And that's what it is. It's karma, which confirms karma's real. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, we are going to head off. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next live stream. Bye-bye.